Hell yeah, dude. We're here. Wow. What's going down? New studio, dude. In the studio, baby. Episode one. Woo. In an unfinished God. studio, dude. The, 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 this is our full form, dude. We're in, this is our butterfly. Yeah, oh, for sure. We started out as shitty caterpillar in that fucking basement. Yep. Poker table. Yep. Then we went into a cocoon in the fucking Beezer den. Whew. Now we're here, dude. Now we're here in the stew. Full butterfly. Basically a rogi setup, dude. This is essential. We are basically rogies. We are pretty much. We might be rogies. We'll get the TV. We'll be able, we'll get the screen to watch stuff. Yeah, we'll be coming able to say, dirty, dirty deeds. Pull that up. For dirty us. deeds, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dirty Dorian. Shout out, Dirty Dorian. Shout Billy out, Shulman. calling him Dirty Deeds. <laughs> I was fucking dying, dude. Yeah, Dirty Deeds, man. That was we. We were setting up a Saturday, I guess that was. I, I was beyond sleep, de- dude. I woke up at one point. I've never reached levels of sleep deprivation like that before. That's gotta be wild. I'm man. good now. Yeah, dude. The the first night we got home, we spazzed and invited everybody over. So, like, I didn't sleep the night, four nights before that. And I'm yeah. like, you're just running on adrenaline. You're like, I just want everyone to see this little kid. So, like, your family's coming. So, I don't sleep at all. And you're supposed to sleep when the baby sleeps. So, I'm just wide awake. Like, oh, look at the baby sleeping here, passing around. And uh, eventually, like, I crash. And, like, you know, nighttime, the baby wakes up, like, every 35 minutes. Dude. It's, like, literally, oh. like, CIA tort. There's a form of CIA torture that is that. Yeah. Where you stand in a box, and they just kind of make you – they hit you with lights every, like, 30 minutes or so. So it's enough It's enough just to start falling asleep, and then you get kind of, like, shocked. Away. It, it's fucking oh. brutal. So I'm, like, beyond levels of sleep deprivation I've ever experienced. And Brittany wakes up. I wake up to Brittany being, like – Oh, like all overwhelmed and shit. I'm like, what, what's the matter? She was like, I just, I finally got her to sleep. And, and she starts like telling me how like upset she is. And I, I was trying as hard as I could to like make sense with my words. This is how tired I was. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I mean, you know, this is, we're doing a podcast in a recession. And I, I couldn't, I had no control over what I was saying, dude. I had, it, you know, when you're slipping off into sleep and you get your, you get those thoughts that like kind of float through your head. I don't want to get all that. Yeah. There was exactly. no filter. When you wake up and just say gibberish. There was that. I was that. Oh and I was God. awake though. I was awake and I knew that I was messing up my words, but I'd be like, I mean, Brittany, you have to understand Bill and Spud and Shane just did a war room. And she's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, um, I was like go to bed. I was like, okay. Oh and I passed back out. Dude, dude, you were you on you had Woodman brain for like a minute. You before, woke up and were like, we're just doing a podcast in a recession, <laughs> and all. you don't understand. Like, we gotta. <laughs> that was literally. She was like, "What are you?" And she was getting mad at me. She was like, "I'm trying to talk to you about something serious." And I'm like, "I, I understand. You have to understand what I'm saying, though." And dude, I just kept talking about the cast. And she was like, "Stop!" <laughs> Holy shit! Dude. And I, I had no control over it. My brain. I was in a half dreaming state, but I was awake. And aware of the fact that I couldn't, it was like a schizophrenic person. I would start off making oh sense God. and just make these weird connections and just start like, I would just lose her. And she was just kind of like, that's so funny to have like a distraught bay and just being like, look, there's a recession and the podcast is, we need the podcast, <laughs> which isn't even true. Apparently we're doing well. What is Trump? Trump talk has the economy, dude. I mean, dude, the stock market was literally up like a thousand percent, whatever. Stop. Stocks drop, dude. Well, because of coronavirus. Coronavirus is. Dude, I don't know what the fuck's going on with this. With the Ronies? Yeah, man. I'm I'm like. Coronies. First of all, I was talking so much shit about. I was like, coronavirus. I'll champ that now. I'm like terrified. You're scared of it. My kid's gonna get it. Dude, I I don't think I'll be. I'll be fine. I felt bad about it today because I was on the fucking subway. Yeah. I was in Times Square. Ooh. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to go see Matt today. Give that baby coronavirus. <laughs> but I think kids are okay. That's what I was reading. It's just geezers. It's just geezer apocalypse. Dude. Is it really? Yeah, geezers are fucked. That's, that's why I'm not, so I'm going back to being not sold on this thing. So it's like. If it's just a geezer apocalypse, that's not bad. Dude, not bad. Well, it was funny because. We uh, could afford a good geezer apocalypse, dude. Yeah, we could All the boomers. It. Those boomers. Is, <laughs> okay, boomers. This is we what made they fun get. of them. And this is what they get, dude. Now they're going to get genocided. This is what they get for ruining the economy. <laughs> but yeah, yeah the, um, yeah, I, I was like. That talk- hot, that hot chick that made that okay boomer TikTok, oh, that's not going to yeah. age well when the boomers get fucking COVID. Ooh. It's not going to age well. Just a hot chick taunting them. What's that show called where people just disappear? Yeah. Uh, It'll be like that. It's just going to be that except yeah. all geezers, dude. Where did all the geezers go? The geezers are gone. I look, it'll be a bummer, but all my grandparents are dead, dude. Yeah, I'm good with the geezers apocalypse. It would be like that show, but everyone wake up and be like, "Oh, sweet! I just got a bunch. Of, I got ten thousand dollars for my grandparents." What if Trump dog, <laughs> Trump daddy, gets fucking coronies? Oh. 
He's down playing Clark it. King gets coronies. He's the only one. No, nah, he's not going to get it. He's the only one being like, there this was is a, not a big deal. There was like a Georgia representative that has coronies, dude. He's on lockdown. I mean, that's the <laughs> that's the you best thing a politician can you get literally right now. put out a tweet that was like a you tweet. He was like, I would rather die in glorious battle than die from a virus. But what's the difference? And then he posted a picture with it that was like samurais fighting. For corona, he's fighting coronavirus. I don't know what he's doing, dude. Is coronavirus the samurai? Is he the samurai? I think they're both samurais, dude. He's all <laughs> coronies. Well, he, I mean, one of the funniest tweets possible. That's yeah. That's that's a that's a big thing right now. He literally, dude. It was a grown. It was a man. Yeah. It was like I'd rather die in battle than with a virus, and posted a random like cartoon of warriors fighting. What the fuck? Imagine if you voted for that guy. Well, that's. I'm telling you, this is political points right now. If you. Quarantine if get, yourself. Dude. If you quarantine yourself, you're like, you're the man. I was watching Chris. Chris Christie's on. Uh, he's on like ABC. G- George Stupolos. Yeah, you got a problem with this. I got. Did I talk about this last week? <laughs> yeah, you're pissed because he locked down the bridge. Dude. He should be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> he's back on TV, yeah. and he's just like he's constantly being like, well, I mean, back in Hurricane Sandy, he keeps talking about. It. I was like, dude, let it go. You yeah, had a you were fine, dude. Tiny hurricane. Yeah. Again, he, he almost floated off though, dude. You think he would have floated? <laughs> it would be like the Katrina pictures. It's just people in New Jersey up to their knees in water, just looking all like forlorn. Yeah, that was. But he kept bringing up that, and he was like, I, well, if I, you know, if, if I were running politically, and he kept running, like, well, politically, I would do this and bullshit. And it's he, like, dude, Trump dog already got you. He was basically saying, like, I'm ready for quarantine immediately. And everyone's like, that's so, that's so brave of you, Chris Christie. You're ready to yeah. stay home in your fat fucking ass. It, yeah, obviously. Take I'm basically already you. in quarantine. <laughs> yeah. During the day, I'm in quarantine. <laughs> You I'll should be go fine. full fucking. You should start wearing like future apocalypse gear, like spray paint mask and walk around the city. <laughs> Just start bugging every dude. Everyone's bugged out right now. Uh, lady next to me was coughing on the subway today, and People I was moving. I was unhappy. She was sitting right next to me. Just should have bullied her, her off the train. She was blowing her nose. Me and this fucking a lad was standing directly in front of me. Me and a lad locked eyes, and we're like, "All right." Get we this. both we both literally looked at each other like, "All right, if we're getting it, this is it." <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah, I watched the thing on it. Uh, like it, there, it was like an NBC news thing. I've been watching my my mother in law's home. And she watched dude, the TV. She watches is so funny. It's just the George Stukalo show where they're just kind of like <laughs> the whole time. Stephanopoulos. Stephanopoulos. Yeah. Is that his name? I have no idea. All right, George Stephanopoulos. Maybe. So he uh, he. I think George Stukos. <laughs> Stukos. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm go sorry ahead, to cut go you go off. Go We're going ahead. on your mother in law's TV in a second, but just yeah. remi- that's just like that reminds me of like. Geezer talk like my dad will just guess names. <laughs> just, he he doesn't know your name. He still can't figure out your name. It's like Bring you still up, down there with that Chris McCusker, <laughs> like, <laughs> McCluskey. Uh, but I was I was on the phone with him today and he was talking about his his basketball team lost first round in the <gasps> state playoffs. They scored four points at oh. half. <laughs> at halftime, it was thirteen to four at half. That stings. He was like, we held them to I think three points in the second half and got outscored. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so they had ice hockey numbers, yeah, but he finally reversed. He finally had a good reverse on me because I always make fun of him. Like, dude, I would drop 50 on your shitty team. Yeah, I would destroy your team. You definitely would. So I was like, dad, I uh, he they the other team had this girl that was six three that just fucked them up. Oh. And I was like, dude, I'm six three. I would murder your team. <laughs> He's like, Shane. You got a weird fantasy about playing with high school girls. <laughs> you need to focus on the road. Because I was driving. <laughs> it's like, see ya. And hung up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, damn, you finally reversed it. Because normally, I, yeah, I just call him a pervert the whole time <laughs> for being around girls' high school basketball. Does he know who Bucky Gills is? I don't know, probably. Give him, send him a Bucky Gills article. Who's that? Bucky Gills. I used to go to his basketball camp. He was the guy who allegedly squirted shampoo on his girls' basketball team in the shower. Yeah, oh, so they were they were naked in the shower, and he came in and was. I think he was he was horsing around. He was like, "Ladies, great playing out there." Maybe it was like a champagne over the shoulder thing. <laughs> hit some with, hit him with some pert plus. That was the that was the alleged thing that he was being indecent. <laughs> really indecent. I dude. think there might have been. You know, don't quote me. I think there might have been butt slaps. Like, get out there, like, smack on the butt. All right, that's that that's makes forgivable. Sense. That's sports. But, yeah, a little celebratory squirt of Pert Plus. While they're in the shower coming in and spraying them? That's what people were saying. Soaping them up. That's what people were saying, dude. 
You were soaping them up. You can't soap up the squad, dude. <laughs> like, I've been so afraid of my dad fucking soaping up the squad. Oh, my God. <laughs> it would be so embarrassing, dude. <laughs> you should send him an article and be like, dude, let it Why, be a cautionary be, tale. Yeah, dude. That's, that's Icarus. <laughs> that's Icarus, dude. Drake is Icarus. Oh, He's dude. flying way too close to the sun right Gibson now. Gibson came out against it. Against Drake? Or against in all of Hollywood. They say it's, it. it's basically fueled by the blood. It's good of, that instead of now he just says Hollywood instead of Jews. Yeah. <laughs> he's probably just like, oh, shit. That's probably one of those moments. Like, he's I like, could have just, just said Hollywood. Hollywood? <laughs> I could have just said globalists this whole time. <laughs> and people would love me. Yeah. yeah, he came out and was just like, it's, it's, this is purely just feeding on. It, the whole thing's built on hot young chicks. Yeah. It, it, dude, it's true. With all those gatekeepers and shit, now that like that's starting to somewhat kind of fall away. Dude, imagine if you were in a position where it was nothing but the hottest chicks in the world all day, every day, begging you for a job. That It just Bro, turned into a total I have, rumpus. I have a, it, a, a bit on that right now about Harvey Weinstein. It's like, dude, this is just a question for the fellas. <laughs> fellas. <laughs> fellas. Let me ask you. Women? Shh. <laughs> shush, so they always get mad, dude. If you go, if you say women in the room, shh. Literally, oh, like God. three of them will audibly be like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I haven't got a good mass shushing in a dude, while. Dude, if you shush a woman, it's oh just guaranteed. God. It's a, it's it kills them. But uh, that's funny for someone to like bring their girlfriends out just for you to fight with them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's. A, I'm like, dude. Let's say you had the power to offer any woman you wanted millions of dollars overnight. Would you maybe use that power to uh, try to get some head? Yeah. And every, the room just silent every time. Oh. Every dude's in there with a the chick. Like, no. No, no, I would never. Yeah, dude. Like, yeah, you would. Yeah, I mean, you would just take the head. You were like, there would be head. You wouldn't even be trying be head to get. There'd be head. There'd be head. You wouldn't even be trying to get. And then you just be like, all right, well, I get head from you know whenever, wherever. Then someone's like, nah, and you're like, excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> would you like to go out to dinner or something? <laughs> what is this? Yeah, man, that shit's starting to fall away. Yeah, dude, that is pretty. Well, that's just Trump rolling up the pedophiles, dude. I mean, that's draining the swamp. Obviously. He's draining the swamp. He's draining draining Hollywood. Who's gonna, dude? Who's gonna beat him? Sleepy Joe. You think Sleepy Joe? <laughs> Sleepy dude, Joe. First of all, how fake is the fact that they're all running all tooth and nail? Then what? They just drop out. Like, so they're in. There, you're telling me they're in charge of their political careers, and then like all of them just no. tap. How? What is that? That's the Democratic Party. So they're just. They're just kind of being allowed to run a little bit. Yeah. So it doesn't look like somebody's dude. I watched a wild documentary uh, last night about that. Oh, uh, what was it called? The the guy put it on the Reddit. What the fuck was this thing called? Uh, Qu- the Quigley formula. Okay. Pretty tight. He was talking about you know Bill Clinton's history teacher. The, I think his name is like no. Kevin, Kevin Quigley. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> so Kevin Quigley. Do you know Bill Clinton's history teacher? <laughs> no. Kevin Quigley. Uh, was the historian of he studied secret societies, so he apparently wrote a book. It was called Desperate. Look, I was on the phone with Billy on the way down here. Yeah, he was hitting me with some secret society talk, dude. Well, take this. I All was, roads lead to anti Semitism, dude. Don't do it. No, it's dude, it's not. Just get ready. Not, no, this I, is not at all. I heard where the trail ends. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is a, this actually makes the most sense okay. out of anything I've ever heard. All right, and this is kind of a, this is what I this is personally what I think is happening. Because you know the, the Illuminati did form in 1776, right? That no, that's documented, bro. This guy's a historian. It's documented. It got busted apart. People were like, "Yo, knock this shit off." Illuminati or like Freemasons or what? Lumin- it was called the, it was called the, the Illuminati. Illuminati. Yeah, okay. I think the Freemasons came afterwards, maybe, but not sure. But yeah, so there's you know there's literally the Illuminati, just secret society. It's like if you're super rich, you're like, "Yo, how are we gonna keep all of our money?" It's yeah, pretty understandable. I would do it if I could, honestly. Yeah. If someone would conspire with me to keep a couple thousand bucks, I'd go to that Bilderberg and be like, all right, what do we got to do? Yeah. What do we got to do, guys? <laughs> Where are the secret? You and me are the Illuminati of Philly podcasts. Okay, dude, guess how this works. We, we, we prop people up. Dude. We can also destroy them, dude. It's, the, it's called the ring. It's the ring system. So, you know, you know the Rhodes Scholar, right? Yeah. The Rhodes. So, Rhodes was a South African guy who was just like one of the wealthiest dudes in the world. And apparently, he had seven wills. And he didn't leave money. Uh, he didn't leave that much money to his kids from you know what this guy was talking about. But he set up the Rhodes Scholarship thing, which was a recruiting thing for he he wanted to start a secret society, which really all it is is just putting people. So you have the inner inner ring, and then that's just like you know that's two or three people who are like yo this is what's going down. This is what we're doing, 
and then you have like you know say there's three people then you get like 25 people like yo you guys are the inner circle you never tell them that you the other people are actually the inner circle and you're like here's what we want to do you guys are all in on this and then they get like 40 to 50 to 100 more people to be like yo i need you guys to do this and yeah. that's how it ring it, it's kind amway of, huh it's like amway sort of yeah very much like that it's like a, it's like a big sick pyramid scheme and then that's pretty much the whole thing you just have people who are paying pyramid huh both what are you talking about you're talking about he's built a pyramid <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so it's not anti-Semitic at all. It's just no, no, no. I wasn't talking about that. I would say that's a symbol for the Illuminati, dude. I mean, obviously, dude. So this fucking they guy, they love showing their symbolism, dude. They, they do. They get off it. on it. Well, that's when Bill Clinton, <laughs> when Bill Clinton apparently like shouted out his history professor. The guy was saying like, "Yeah, it seems sweet." He's like, "Oh, I love my history professor," but he's like, "That guy wrote two books. One of them was called Hope and Tragedy, and the other one was called something about the Anglo-Saxon America." But it's like boring. It's like apparently like just facts and dates. It's super boring. And then there's chunks where it's like this guy was invited to document these societies. And he's like, this is what I found. He's like, actually, this is sick. I don't know why they're secret. What they're trying to do is just they're trying to unite the world under a world government. This is awesome. So they're saying that's what these it's just a bunch of rich people trying to gain dominion over the entire world. No big. Which is consistent with history. The idea that, like, we're just all of a sudden not ruled anymore is weird. People are like, no, we, uh, you know, we vote, and uh, it's like, okay. Yeah, we're I still agree. Fully I agree free. with all that. So it's not a, it's not like a huge, massive conspiracy, but the, yeah. the guy, the historian, is so fucking funny because he started his own, like, he wants to start his own society. So he had he wants symbols and everything because he, like, loves all that shit. So he did, he did, took the peace sign, which is obviously the upside down broken cross, satanic symbol, and it was used by the Russians to de- denuclearize America. Anyway, the, uh, <laughs> so then he turned it upside down. Oh, boy. He turned it upside down. And he's like, and this was a cool symbol. But then, Drat, I realized this was actually a Nazi symbol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Drat. Yeah, so he's like, I added a little head. It's called like the Freedom Initiative. It's so funny. So I had a little head. You know, now I took the symbol. And honestly, originally, he uses like swastika stuff. He's like, I mean, ancient symbols. This is, you know, they kind of <laughs> yeah, took yeah, it. Yeah, Dude, yeah. I was reading this last night, dying. Like, it's so funny. This guy rolled out a symbol and was like, that. Drat. Damn it. It's a Nazi symbol. Damn it. Yeah, and he also, he's not a big fan of um, global warming. Not a big fan. Of he that. doesn't believe in that? No, he doesn't. And it, not to mistake with pollution. He goes, pollution's real. He's like, I just don't buy the carbon, the whole thing that carbon's heating the earth. He goes, that's just a way to tax people heavily. So this is this is where the guy, I was kind of like, all right, bro. Going ham. So pretty funny. But yeah, that shit was pretty interesting. How he talked about how the Rhodes Scholarship was this guy he had a will. And if you read like his letters and his wills or whatever... He's saying, like, I want to set up. I want to. His whole thing was like, the British race is the best race in the world, and we have to make sure that the world falls under the dominion of the British race. And Jesus. that's where the Rhodes Scholarships comes from. And that's on, apparently, that's like yeah. on the record of this guy saying that. So the Rhodes Scholars is, is to identify who could potentially, you know, fulfill the Rhodesian view of like, you know, have to write essays and stuff, and you have to be in line with like that, you know, English shit rules. And I'm going to help keep that mm. going. Pretty tight. Pretty tight. Pretty tight. But yeah, Pretty when you tight. said that, we do have basically a secret society. Yeah, man. The podcast network is, it just rings upon rings upon rings. Yeah. Dude. Just prop them up. You don't know. That's the thing. You don't they're all it. puppet podcasts. And you don't name it. You, there, there's no name for it. We do have Chat Digital, but. We can, we can, they're all puppet governments. We can fade. We, we, can, can, we could replace any yeah, one of them. we could fade. We could fade. Dirty deeper. Deeds Dorian could be in one of them. True. We could sub out somebody, dude. <laughs> Wait till Dirty Deeds is here recording, dude. Dirty Deeds, dude. When I was in, we were getting. I mean, that's that. The story you told me <sighs> hurt me to hear. He, he was so he would, he killed it all day setting up all the mics. We're setting up the cameras. We're doing all this shit. He's gonna come back and finish. We go to Walmart and he just is like, I gotta stop and get cream for my snake. I'm on like <laughs> five hours of sleep in five days, and I just stand in Walmart and I'm like. What? He had to get some snake wax. He sna- I was, that's what I'm saying. I was like, what, what you, he's like, my snake was too close to the light. Its skin started to dry, so I need to get, like, iodine, some sort of weird formula. And I was just like, okay. Oh, my that's God. That's cool. And I was like, I'll, I'll check it. I'll wait in line for you. And then I'll, you know, hop in. The, dude, Walmart, Saturday, it was fucking mayhem. In the, it was crazy. Which, which Walmart? Columbus Boulevard, South Philly. <laughs> mayhem, bro. It was it's a crazy. tough Walmart, too. Cra- they stopped the self-checkout. Right. They took it away. <laughs> I bet they did, dude. I was I was punishing that thing. <laughs> so like, dude, that must have people were robbing that. 
Yeah. Walmart probably checked their quarter thing and was like, holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh my we're God. losing millions. Yeah. Every There must have been, I would say, 70% of, 60% of people in the South Philly Walmart were stealing from self-checkout. And, dude, it was nobody gave – the security did not give – they literally how could they? caught me. Yeah, how could they? And they were, I was like, oops. And they were like, what's this? I'm like, oh, I must have forgot that. And they're like, you forgot like nine things. And I'm like, oh, weird. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'll be out of here. <laughs> dude. <laughs> but, dude, the uh, – Having to wait for somebody to get fucking cream for their fucking dry snake <laughs> would – oh, that would oh, rip me and that would kill me. On three hours of sleep, oh, dude. Oh, my would, God, dude. And the whole thing, too, is like – He's helping me set up. So I'm like just so grateful. And then he hits me with that. And I was just like, all right, I'll, uh, I'll wait in line. So then I check out. I, I get through and everything. And I'm just waiting there like a dickhead. So I'm like, all right, let me get back in line. So then, you know, we don't have to wait again. Because I like, I have to get home. I've been gone for like six hours. So I, we get back in line. And then he has like the little, he has like the producer's table. So he brings it up. And then we get through this long ass fucking line. The lady's just like, you know, like the, the cashier just want, literally looks like she's like looking to like burn herself. Mm-hmm. And she <laughs> she just looks at the table and she goes, <laughs> she's like, doesn't have a sticker. Sorry. And it's next. And I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, well, I literally asked my words. I was like, what the fuck? And she was like, you have to go get another one. And I was like, motherfucker. Uh, so Dorian's like, I'll get it. I'll get it. So he goes to get it. So there's like three people in line. It's so, good Dorian. Oh, Dirty D's was he? I'm telling you, this dude was on the ball. He just has a dry snake, dude. He needs a fucking, he needs a he's got some Neosporin yeah, yeah. on his boa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he just put some Neosporin on the California King. So he he fucking runs, scurries, grabs his table, and the guy behind me gives me like a little like fucking like ooh, 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 table. So I'm like, I'm looking at this guy like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, but I'm in my head. I'm like, I'm gonna fucking kill everybody in here right now. I was furious. And then fucking, uh, <laughs> so then the guy who last scoffed at me. You should paper. have just bought a gun. I sh- in wall. I should have, have been, I'll be back. You could have walked over, bought a gun, checked out, <laughs> <laughs> turned around and shot the guy. I should have. Even like That's a pellet a sick gun. Sick move. Pellet gun. Just fucking, yeah, quick BBs. Yeah. That would be nice, like between the maternity oh, section, bro. just sticking out a barrel and sniping people. I got in a wild, real wild incident what? in uh, Bridgeport. I almost, I almost fought a guy. Really? Yeah, got in an elevator late, like after the show, hotel elevator, me and the wood man. And this, this black dude was in there, and we got in after him. So, like, he held the door, kind of. Mm-hmm. Or, like, you know, he didn't hold the door, but he... Put an yeah. arm, broke the plane? Didn't put an arm. What? No, but we got in there, and he was like, you guys are lucky I'm not racist. What? And I thought he was just joking, because maybe he hit the door stay open. Yeah. So I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was like, I'll put fucking hands on you right now. What? And we were like, what? Why? And he was like, because you're white. He's like, I'll fuck you up because you're white. But he's not racist? <laughs> yeah, I know. Wait, I what? Like, Dude, you know you're racist, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you told him? No, but then Wood got off because I was on the seventh. He was on the fourth. So Wood just left me in there with this what guy. What the fuck? Uh, s- second act of cowardice. <laughs> <laughs> from the Wood man. That's two fights that he walked away from. Uh, but then. He uh, left you on the elevator with a well, hate no, primer? Wood, truthfully, Wood thought the guy was kidding. Yeah, yeah. Like, we both thought he was kidding. And then right when the door started to close, when Wood was leaving, that guy started, like, really getting after me. Really? Yeah, he was just talking about how much he hates white people and wants to fuck us up. And Good I was for just him, like, though. I was just like, all right, man. Good for him getting it he out. He was like, you're lucky I'm not racist. And I was like, yep, I am. Thank you. Big dude? No. In an elevator, I had a, I had a pretty good chance of mauling that dude. Yeah. Especially me and the Woodman. Oh, for sure. Those two big guy, two big guys in that fucking elevator. We would have, we would have hate crimed him. He had to be real fucked up. He was like kind of sweaty. That'd have been so funny if we got. The if hate you guys crime. fought and they're like, what happened? They're like, you clearly just beat this man up. They're like, no, he said he hated white people and attacked us. They'd be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> especially this guy wood. has no, this guy especially has no a, hair. A mug shot of wood and yeah. then me with my. <laughs> yeah. They googled me real quick. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, let, yeah. let us have that. You would have came out with like a, like a mini noose around your neck and bleach on your shirt. Like, no, I swear. He, I, I he should said, have jossied. <laughs> yeah. You should have. Dude, that would have That been was a, basically a reverse jossie. That, that was a reverse Smollett, dude. You should have, dude. Went full. You should have like bumped in like, ah, ah. Yeah, that was, it was wild though. I haven't experienced that before. Just a dude just being like, I'll fuck you up because you're white. I was like, all right. But then he said he's Thanks, not because he's not. So he thinks about fucking white people And I was like, day. why? He's like, because I, people put hands on me because I'm light skin and i was like uh, so black people beat you up because you're light skin <laughs> like, what <laughs> what did you did you ask did you entertain no him? i i asked a little bit i was like wait why would you beat us up and he's like because you're white i was like okay fair enough and then he just kept talking and i was like All he right, gets man. fucked because he's light skin yeah damn 
Ludacris is light skinned. It's cool. Yeah, that's what I told him. Yeah, they do. But like, Ludacris is light skinned. <laughs> He's killing it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was it was a wild weekend. You think Luda wants to beat us up? Yes. You think so? <laughs> I've thought about it. Luda <laughs> definitely wants to beat up white people. <laughs> I mean, dude, if you were black, would you not want to beat up white people? I want to beat up white people. I know. I I would when I live. I with, have beaten up white people. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I would live near Temple when I lived near Temple. Uh, I would like when I'd see the students would come back all summer, everybody mm. chilling. And then you would see these like, it was very close to zombies, like 20 year old college white kids would start walking around and you'd be like, what the fuck is this? And you're yeah. like, oh shit, they're back from school. And I was like, damn, if I was black, I, I mean, I hated them anyway. But yeah. I was like, damn, if I was black, I would hate these. If I had kids. like, if people were telling me, like if I was experiencing gentrification, yeah. I would, yeah. Also too, if you're like, so if you're like living in a neighborhood Nothing's going that well. Like you're struggling, and then you see these kids like come throw up, party, and then they, they're just like managers. <laughs> they're just like, yeah. they're just like, well, that was fun. And now there's like your boss. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, and all of them are like, I live in the fucking ghetto, dude. It's fucking horrible where I live. <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, <laughs> well, they walk this around. Where my kids? <laughs> <laughs> they walk around. They're like, I'm so fucking broke. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you're literally walking by Section Eight housing, dude. Like, oh yeah. my god. I resented them. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty funny. I, I'm glad that guy didn't beat you guys up. Hate crime, you guys. That would have actually been pretty sick. If he hate if crime, he would have fucking punched wood. Oh. If he would have punched wood in the face <laughs> and they got off the elevator, I would have been. I would have laughed so fucking hard, dude. <laughs> if wood got hate crime. If the wood man got hate crime. Well, it's also that's something you kind of got to like hold. You can't. As a white dude, you can't claim hate crime. Nobody's oh, trying. Nobody's trying to fucking hear it. No one on earth would have listened to that. Yeah, that would have been. He was hitting with. He was hitting us with that hard. I like that rationale, though. It's like, look, I hate fucking white people, but you're lucky I'm not racist, and therefore, meaning, like, you're lucky I don't beat the fuck out of white. That's what being racist is. Yeah. Thoughts? You're allowed to actively tell people you don't like them because they're white. Yeah, but... As long as you don't put hands on them. Once you put hands on them, you're... you're he was. He must have been thinking, like, dude, it's on site with the next white person I see. And me and Wood got in there, and he was probably like, all right, next ones. (laughs) (laughs) These two dudes. These two giant ones. (laughs) But, yeah, the Wood... wood, uh, that's a lot. Wood's a lot to take, dude. Yeah. I love him, but That's a time long. I thought I was like, all right, nice. We'll just I have one room for the weekend, mm. two beds. We'll, we can pull this off. I lasted Thursday. <laughs> Got a new one right away. <laughs> the Woodman's uh You gotta get your own suite anyway, man. Yeah, you have to, but it's it weirder and weirder sharing a room with like a grown man as you get older. Just the this drama the whole weekend. Really? It's just wood wood. Wood yeah. drama. He's just yeah. like, oh man, this fucking thing. This, oh, I gotta get home and get the podcast on Monday. I gotta do this. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up about the podcast. <laughs> he's doing it, man. He's doing. He's doing great. It is funny. It, it is, man. It's yeah. fucking hilarious. Took him to, dude, the zoo is sick. Took him to the zoo, zoo forever. Yeah, me and Woodman went to the zoo. How's I took him to the mall, and he got a little pouty at the mall. What was he, what was he pouty about? Uh, <laughs> dude, it's so fucking funny. All right, so a fan. All right, oh, fuck, fuck it. it. Oh, who cares? It's not a big deal to say this. It's funny as fuck. Uh, a fan, I guess, was DMing with the Woodman. Yeah. And the Woodman, of course, is very gracious. Sure. Super excited that anybody's talking to him. He's like, yeah, dude, I fucking love you. Mm-hmm. Keep listening to the podcast. And, you tell uh, he has a bunch of grade schoolers that hit him up. They're high schoolers listening to his podcast. Oh, God. It's like, uh, hi, I guess it's okay. You guys are here yeah, listening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if that's true, those are, keep in mind, Wood, Woodman is a, he's a big time horse feeder. You think he's a, you think he's he a feeder? He could be horse feeding. True. He's a feeder. You got to keep the feeding in mind. <laughs> uh, so so we're at the mall, and all of a sudden I look over, and Wood's, like, devastated. <laughs> this is the third time this trip he's done it. He's been devastated. Where, like, I look at him, and he's just devastated and forces you to be like, what? <laughs> like, what's wrong? <laughs> so what was, what was, what so was this time? So this time we was getting his goat was, uh, I guess, one of his fans had DM'd Nick Mullen. Uh huh. And was like screenshotted how he and Wood had interacted. Sure. Sent that screenshot to Mullen and was like, see this guy, he runs a great podcast. This is how he interacts with fans. He's gracious. He's nice. This is how you should be. And Mullen responded, that guy's probably a dumbass. I already know everything. Or something like that. <laughs> and, then, and then the fan screenshotted that and sent that to the Woodman. And he was like, I don't know. Like, what do I do, dude? Like, how do I handle this? I was like, shut the fuck up. You don't handle anything. It's fine. He doesn't, Mullen doesn't know you. He's not shitting on you. He's just bothering that fan. You should have stoked up the beef, dude. That'd be a nice oh, beef. Woodman dude. v. Mullen. That would be a wild beef. That would be tight. 
We need some beefs, dude. We That'd gotta, be a good is, beef, dude. Ring <laughs> call. Calm down for his oral presentations. <laughs> Might be the beef. <laughs> That'd be a horrible Pandora's box to open. No, we don't. We, no beefs. No, we don't want definitely, definitely But not. the fucking uh, that would be the horrible. response Mullen gave that fan just being like. I already know everything. That guy's probably a dumbass. Maybe he laughed so hard, especially because Wood saw it was just like, <laughs> I'm in a sticky situation here. It's like, no, dude. I was like, you're not at all. Yeah. He was like, so what do I do here? I don't know. And I was like, dude, just nothing. Literally nothing. And you, it's, I'm mad that you're upset about like, this. You should have like picture with a gun immediately, bro. Yeah. And then two was, picture two guns on your chest, dude. So then I, I just took him, took him to the zoo from the mall. On the way home, I was like, oh, yeah, the mall's, the zoo's close. Yeah. Take the wood man out. Let him see some animals. Chill him out. <laughs> you had to chill him out for me and call it a dumbass. <laughs> I call it a dumbass. <laughs> it is. I do feel badly exposing people to like online just stuff. Oh. It's just, it's, dude, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's fucking Fukushima. If you're, it's like, rough. If you're dealing online, it, it, it's like fucking working in like a chemical plant. <laughs> you're just working with like personality waste of just like fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's like a growing faction of people that no matter what I put out, they're like fucking faggot. <laughs> just, every time I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. dude! Oh, I didn't even tell you this. So when I was at, when I, when I got scoffed at by the guy at Walmart who I'm like, fuck this fucking guy. Mm. He comes up with like seven items, rings up the first four. And then he puts up a big, mega roll of paper towels and it was like 1934 or whatever it came out to be he goes what and they're like it'll be 1930 he's like for these paper towels is that for everything like no it's just for the paper towels he goes he just literally put his hands up he goes i don't want any i don't want it he's like all right you want me to take the paper towels off and he was like i don't want any of my stuff and just left all of his stuff and walked away wow and that was that was the guy who laughed at me and i was like what the fuck and then deeds came back up finally with the snake lotion yeah because they let us hold our place so deeds came back he, he never found this his snake lotion Pray for Deeds of Snake, dude. It's still dry. Oh, there's no snake lotion. He, I don't know. He might have got it. But that day, his snake was still dry. So prayers for the snake. The constrictor still <laughs> has eczema. Whatever the <laughs> fuck is going on with the snake, dude. <laughs> yeah, we have, Oh, we should have him move the snake into the studio, dude. That'd be sick to have a bow in here. To have a bow in here would be awesome. We actually might have to get a bow in here. We anyway. should get tons of reptiles in here. We should here. get a bunch of snakes in here, dude. Make it spooky. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a boa on us at all times. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that guy! That guy that fucking did that is awesome. Abandoning all your goods Dude, at Walmart, scoffing at someone in front of you, and then being like, "Paper towels are priced too high. I'm out of here." <laughs> that guy is wild. Dude. He left all the stuff. He. What I do you look like? What was he? What was he rocking? What was the gear on this guy? It was just like a black geezer. Oh, it was a black geezer. Yeah, it's a black geezer, just like. Wearing like you know like a turtleneck and like a bubble vest, just fucking. Damn, a black user scoffed at you, dude. We're getting crushed by black people this week. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, man. Yeah, we have. He's, to. He better start st- stocking up, dude. Coronies is coming for the geese, dude. Oh yeah. Although I think black people are immune to it. They were trying. That's the rumor, dude. When I was watching George Stephanopoulos's yeah. fear mongering, they he uh, dude all it was was just like. They brought in a health expert. Was like, well, tell us about coronavirus. And the lady's like, we don't really know anything, but yeah. this will probably affect minorities. And I was just like, what the fuck? They're saying so. They're saying the, the minority geezers are going to corona out. But it's like they have no Damn. fucking idea. Everybody's dude. gonna miss their uncle Charles, y'all. <laughs> yeah, dude, that, that's all Corona is. It's gonna be the bone thugs guy just touching everybody. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> The geezer apocalypse is on its way. <laughs> I still, I'm still fucked up on missing Uncle Charles, dude. Miss, Uncle Charles <laughs> is going to be missing, dude. <laughs> These coronies is coming. They're all going to be going up the mountain in all white gowns. <laughs> That's all because some lady was munching bats, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of wouldn't mind. Dude, if I get coronies, that's good PR for oh, me. Oh, dude, if you, get, you should fake coronies. I almost want coronies. Just Quarantine so can, yourself, dude. Dude, just so I can tweet. Just be like, all right, we're even. Dude. China, you and me are even. <laughs> <laughs> I made fun of you guys, and then I got coronies. You guys poisoned my immune system you guys with your nonsense. Munch, you guys were fucking munching bats, dude. <laughs> Yo. How funny is it that we got in trouble for saying Chinese food is dishonest cuisine, <laughs> and then it literally might end the world? <laughs> You're like, no, it's not. It's fine. It's cool. Which means it's just wrong. videos online of dudes just crushing mice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, holy shit, dude. I mean, you got to That's got to be crazy to come here. You're running a restaurant, and you're just kind of like, you go to a pet store, and you're like, wait, I can get like a thousand of these things. You're like, fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, 
Wait, mice? Because if you go chicken here is like you know like what is it now like three fifty a pound like chicken breast? Oh okay, I don't know. I thought you were talking like per like an actual chicken. Oh no, like chicken, a, yeah, yeah, chicken yeah. breast. It's cheap. So you know, mice here is just snake food. So you know, it's not really. It's probably cheaper. I, I, it's, no, it's like I whey was, protein. I was whey. talking about in China, not Chinese restaurants here. But yeah, true. If you're coming from China, where it's acceptable to munch those things, that's what I'm saying. You walk into a pet shop and just like. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> getting this good over here. <laughs> so you feed it to a snake, you just like one of the snake, munch on. <laughs> <laughs> one for, yeah, it's like Twix. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny, though, to be like, that. I think they're trying to say now that like nobody munch bats. Oh, yeah, that was, they, they tried that from the start to be like, that's just a rumor. Yeah, there's no bat. And munching. then it's like, but it did come from probably the Wuhan food market where people are munching bats. It, maybe they're saying like somebody. But they're just would, munching. They're munching wild shit. Yeah, someone might have been like munching a turtle, and then a bat. <laughs> <laughs> I've munched a turtle. I've munched one. Yeah, so it's probably munching a turtle, and then like just a bat touched it or something, and then they kind of like you know. Yeah. Might have grabbed his leg and get a little nibble on. <laughs> <laughs> just going. Dude, they munch wild shit. That's okay. It's you're allowed to laugh, dude. <laughs> they're selling crickets now. <laughs> They're selling crickets now, like at like Whole Foods type grocery stores. So you can munch cricks. They're saying like this is the new responsible protein. It's cricket powder. It's like, dude, get the oh fuck out of my face with that. Not doing it. Dude, you're not you munching crickets? crickets. I've eaten a cricket. Have you? Yeah. I don't think I have. There was like a museum that we always went. Uh, there's a place called the Whitaker Center that we used to go to on a field trip, and they always sold like lollipops with like a grasshopper inside of it. Okay. That's when I munched them. You munched. Yeah, I'd munch them. Did you get any kind of? I just was stoked. I was allowed to do something wild at school. I was like, dude, I'm gonna eat a fucking bug at school. From the end, it was like a tootsie, like a, a yeah, it was like a clear bat. lollipop with like a fucking bug in it that that's, you actually munched. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's not bad. The, yeah, at the Whitaker Center. Well, that's also a disgusting farm to think of, where you just have like a cricket mill. Oh, so loud. And you loud. just have them as yeah, just and then you just grind what, them. What up. noise do crickets make? <laughs> just fucking <laughs> just grind them up. Yeah, it's pretty horrifying. Dude, we gotta go a to warehouse the, of bugs. When this all clears up, you and me are taking a trip to the Wuhan market. Yeah, and we are munching. You want to munch something? I want to munch something. <laughs> munch I got a hankering for bugs when I was a kid. <laughs> I can't even imagine munching it, dude. That picture somebody posted. I don't even know if it's real, but just a full bat in soup <laughs> is so fucking funny. <laughs> Like not even remotely cooked, and it just literally a bat just laying in soup with it, just like. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, man, that that's a fuck up, man. If you're if you're like, if like I also, dude, I I don't think, I think it's being blown out of abortion. Yeah, I do too. I think it's being way blown. Like, dude, I was at a uh, my school today, at the school I, I work at, and. People, some dude was like, I got to go into quarantine. Someone I know apparently yeah. called me and said they have it. I'm about to put myself in fucking quarantine. Dude, yeah. if you put yourself in a quarantine live stream, that would be tight. Staying have, for like three days. I have some cool shows coming up. South by South by Southwest just got canceled. Quarantine. That would have been sick. Quarantine. I was re- dude, I was ready to go to battle. Oh, yeah. South by was just me versus pretty much everybody I called gay. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a wild trip, dude. I probably would have went in my room and cried the whole time. No, people. Like, everybody's actually mean. Everyone would have been the like, industry's mean to me. Oh, it's so fucking. They are. Yeah. Well, now mean, that Mel dude. Gibson cracked them open, knowing that they're just fucking pedophiles. True. I got a link with fucking Mel and Vince Vaughn, dude. For sure. Just elite dogs rolling. You have to. That's the goal. Definitely. The goal Vaughn. is to get big enough that I can chill with Vince Vaughn and Mel Gibson. And toss in some Alex Jones. You could actually, you could probably chill. Well, no. Gibson, you you can't get a hold of Gibbs. No. You know, yeah, actually, that's true. Can't get a hold of either. Brave bro. Yeah, can't get a hold of him. I almost got in a fight with O'Connor about that because we had a couple couple drinks, and O'Connor was on his. I was just making fun of him for saying Tom Cruise is the best. Like to, he thinks Tom Cruise is top five best actors of all time. What? Yeah, I was like, dude, he's not better than Mel Gibson. No, no fucking way, he's not. And if he's, they're on the same level, at least. I would say, yeah. Tom, what's Tom Cruise been in that's like not he's, he's got some bangers, dude. Yeah. He's got a lot. But they're all like, most of them are kind of fucking corny. It's all like 90s dialogue. Yeah. Where they're like, they're pretty corny. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's a good actor and all. He's no, sure. he's no Leo DiCaprio. He's no Leo, bro. 
Paul, put the he's no fucking, ast- he's asterisk. No, he's asterisk, no Tom Hardy, bro. Pedophile. No Tom Hardy. No Daniel Day. I was hitting him with all these. I was like, who's Tom yeah. Hanks, dude? Daniel Day. I mean, Daniel Day is unquestioned. Tom Hanks might be a pedophile, but he's Hanks, a good actor. Possible, possible Sep- pedophile. Separate art from the pedophile. I always separate art from the pedophile. Man, that's all you can do in Hollywood, dude. Yo, have you listened to that fucking Chasing Cosby at all? No, what's that? Uh, it's a podcast about Bill Cosby and his shenanigans, dude. What was this? What was he doing? He was, bro. Really? We, we, we would like joke. I remember you had a, you have a good fucking Cosby joke. Yeah. Where am I? I'm, I'm going to steal it eventually. Take it. Almost stole it this week. Dude, free. It's open source. This is open source. My comedy is open source, dude. Thank you. Take anything. Um, Yeah, you'll hear people like joke about Cosby, but then you listen to the fucking accusations. It's like, whoa, dude. Well, he was drugging chicks, right? He was drugging them like. Yeah, I th- see, I thought the way I like just imagined it was like in the <clears throat> 70s or 80s or whatever. It was like cool at a party to like dose it. I don't know. That's how like it was taught. Like people were like, that was fine back then. You could definitely get chicks drunk and have back then it was like yeah, but give this, her a couple extra vodkas. Exactly. That's what I thought it was. Like at a party, he would like kind of, I didn't know he was knocking them out totally Yeah. with these drugs. And also oh. like fully like would have someone bring them a drink in like his hotel room he would like it wasn't it was fucked up so it was like a conspiracy kind of a like yes, he, he had, had like partners in he this had like a dude like somebody who worked like for him so and then also it's built like this dude must have been able to get pussy so at this point this is like a weird fetish yeah he was thing. just into it he like was there was in, one girl one girl's well now they're all ladies but they're like you know they're like crying and shit talking yeah. about it, and they're like it fucked me up like and he was always like helping them he was always their like mentor and then he would fucking drug them yeah, dude. What the and fuck? And they would they would wake up hours late. One lady said she woke up and like blood was running down her leg because he fucking he sodomized her. Oh, while she Jesus, was the, dude. man, making that like pinched in Cosby face. Cosby like, was Ooh. yeah, dude. It was no good, dude. Ever like, and they shut it down. Hollywood, Hollywood was trying to shut it down, dude. What, well, his? he was yeah with his money, he was able to be like, and and the one one mom was like recording the phone calls. So Cosby raped this girl. And then he called her mom and was like, I'll set up a, a trust fund for like a college fund for her. She's got to have good grades, but I'll set that up for her. We can handle I love those. how he still throws in the good grades. Yeah, he's still like trying once, to act. Once a yeah. Huxtable, always a Huxtable, bro. <laughs> once a fucking wholesome TV dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it's fucked up. Imagine if like, that, w- that would be like uh, Danny Tanner. Taking like a wholesome TV dad. Who? You just, like Danny Tanner was like. Danny Tanner, fuck, what's his name? Uh, he's also Bob Saget's a motherfucker. Yeah, that's too. what I mean. Saget might be out there wilding, dude. I mean, he doesn't have the nah, clout. I think he's no. Nah, he, he doesn't have the clout for chemical bondage like Mr. Dude, Cosby. Mr. That's Cosby was fucked having, up, dude. Yeah, it was bad, dude. Listen to that podcast like the whole time. I because I'm I'm shitty, so like I'll I'll hear like accusations like that, and I'll be like, yeah, whatever, fucking, yeah. it probably wasn't that bad. And then, dude, you listen to that, it's like, ah, that was pretty bad. Sodomizing past. And then I read I read some of the the wine scene ones. Brutal. Really? Yeah, dude. I mean, the fact you know. I, I mean, you gotta you gotta figure if you're taking down one of these guys, they did it, for the most. Like, if you're getting them on like multiple, if you're bringing down a fucking hundred millionaire, like he's worth hundreds of millions. Yeah. He's he did it. True. There's no way they <laughs> could have wiggled out. Yeah. Damn, dude. I mean, you know, as, as a fucking as a Dinka warrior, dude. That nothing fires me up like hearing Cosby was. Up I know, to that, dude. as a black conservative like yourself, dude. Yeah, find this out. Yeah, it, it's that fucks me up. It's a tough one. That gets me fired up, dude. I never watched the Cosby Show. I didn't give a fuck. Never watched. I never it, even dude. listened to him stand up. I heard it was good. I was never a Cosby fan, dude. I heard one of his bits. I'd see him being like boo, and yeah. I was always like, I don't really get it, man. Hey, man, maybe you know, judge it. It's just judge a character. It's our intuition. True. Being like, something's off. Something's wrong here. Something stunk. I saw him. I said, look, I don't fucking buy it. It's a clean comic, dude. You got to watch out for those boys. You do. Something's dude. going on. Something's going on. If you a can't weird say, boy. And you're like, I can't say any curse words. <laughs> like, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, bro. What the fuck are you up to? Yeah. Um, look at how nice I am. Yeah, that's fucked up, dude. Yeah. I didn't mean to tarnish the Woodman's name. You but, didn't tarnish but the boy. boy. Woodman's an emotional creature, dude. Woodman is an emo boy. He is an emotional creature, dude. He's a tortured artist. <laughs> he is a tortured artist. I fucking bro. love his podcast, dude. <laughs> it is fucking hilarious. It is so funny. Man. I but like I said, dude, I haven't been to the zoo in a while. Zoos are where it's at. What you what, what animals do you say? Uh there's tigers. There's a some sort of fucked up like South American wolf. 
It was just real shitty. It was endangered. It's like, all right, good. Yeah. Get like, rid of that thing. That thing's done. Yeah. It was like, looked like a coyote? Uh, no, it looked like a fucking hyena with like long blonde hair. Pretty hot. Oh, nice. Pretty sexy. No, it was an ugly fucking dog with like a hunchback. Ugh. It was just walking around. They were all out walking around too, dude. What? Zoo was empty. It was cold out, but the animals were fired up. Really? Yeah, dude. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was funny, too, because all the birds they had were, like, fucked up. Mm-hmm. So all the birds that had been, like, you couldn't put them back in the wild. They were all fucked up. And uh, the bald eagle had, like, his own cage with no – there was no net above him. He was just sitting there trying so hard to fly. He had one oh, He had one wing. Fuck, man. <laughs> this bald eagle with one wing trying to, like, hop. Fuck. He was right across the trail from the tiger, tiger cage. I was like, dude, I hope one day that, that eagle gets moving, just lands straight in the tiger cage. Gets ripped up, dude. He'd the rather die. Eater? He'd rather die a warrior's death, True. just like that fucking senator. Are they just studding that? <laughs> are, they, <laughs> are they just studding that uh, eagle out? What do you mean? Probably just using it for its reproductive capabilities. I don't. I mean, they're probably just putting it in there because it's cool looking. True. And One it's arm a zoo. Eagle. One arm eagle. Yeah. That's what's up. He had, like a, he had a dinged wing, dude. He was still trying to fly though. It was pretty funny. He was oh. like hopping off a rock. It was actually like pretty sad because you could you could see him looking in the he was looking at like trees in the sky like he was oh. looking at like birds flying by. Yeah, he's supposed to be like three hundred yeah. feet higher. He's than supposed he to is. kill these. Yeah, dude, watching like little kids try to like they were like jumping up against the glass with this jaguar. The jaguar was jumping at the glass at them. What the I was fuck? Like, Damn, dude, this is this is some bullshit, dude. Yeah, it is. Every one of those tigers just kept looking at kids like, I, would... I should eat that. Oh. It was nice. Damn. It was fun to watch, dude. That zoo is fun. Trip. Zoo trip. Zoo, when sick. the zoos respond, that is might be as exciting as something can get. Or when the animals respond. Oh, yeah. yeah it sucks. It's very when fun. they're being lazy pieces of shit. When you go they to are the zoo, lazy pieces of shit, dude. They're all just like... Mm. They're so used to getting taunted that if you like make a noise, they don't even fucking look at you. Yeah. Yeah, but there was two baby leopards that were just born that were... They were playing with the little kids. Little kids oh, were in like... Cost, like They were wearing like tiger outfits mm-hmm. and like jumping around the glass and the... The baby, the kitten leopards were like jumping up and playing with them. It was that's pretty cool. Really, really fun time. Me and the, the woodman pri- just walked around like a couple of pedophiles, <laughs> <laughs> staring at kids. <laughs> you see the primate house? Uh, yeah, we did. It was good, man. Look, primate house is shit. I I've, I saw the gorillas fuck me up, man. There were no gorillas. Really? There's just little tiny zoo. shitty ones. Philadelphia Zoo has some good gorillas, yeah. dude. And you go I don't look like at monkeys. Them. I don't like monkeys. Really? I like I like uh, gorilla. Gorillas are sick. They do. They look too smart. You see them in there, and the gorilla is just kind of like looking, and then the little kids would like do the same thing. The gorilla would charge the glass. And I'm like, dude, this is so sad, dude. This is so sad. It is sad. I was happy to read the sign that the birds were dinged up, though. Otherwise, it's sad. Yeah. Seeing a fucking bald eagle locked up, dude. That's not America. That's not freed, I would have freed it personally. That's not 1776. Yeah, personally, I would have freed it, but I tried. I understand. I tried, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else we got? What do we got on dude, the Dude, I am. Um, what'd you say? What do you, what, what you got going on over there? I. Finally busted my first post kid nut. Oh, dude, but no sex, obviously. Okay. Talking, I jerked it. Oh I yeah. How long do you have to go without having sex? Oh, forever. I don't know. Like a long forever. time. <laughs> Never again, dude. Well, they they ask you. They're like, what are what's your form of birth control you're gonna do? Because apparently, when women after they have a baby, they're highly fertile for a little. They have like a window where they're super fertile, and you don't want to back to back them. Just, yeah, you know, it damages the damages the broad. Put bath, put bath the ring, and for the kid too, you gotta let the placenta build up a little bit. Bay's been through the ringer, so I'm like, yeah. so now it's like, sex is it's like, it's like a lot of bait. You can't go back on birth control because you can't go on birth, certain birth controls while you're breastfeeding. So now it's like, you know, we have a couple more weeks. Obviously, we can chill, but it feel like, dude, that first time having sex again is gonna be scary. I told her we're gonna, it's gonna go be f- nice. Which, oh, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, but it's like you can't use birth control, and you know, we're not either of us are not really into using condoms like that. So. You're, you're playing with it. That, at that point, you see what happened. So when you have sex now, it's like, oh, it, you know, you're risk you're risking it all. Yeah. Which you know, whatever. I'm fine. Go with through it. that again. Yeah. So it's like, the, dude, how do these people have like seven kids? Well, it's addicting. What having a kid? Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. It's addicting. So like you have them, and you're like, dude, it's it's the most. It's like a almost like a, a weird like psychedelic experience. You just all of a sudden, they're, like, they bring a person, and you're like, what the fuck? And then, like, all day long, your brain's just in this loop where you're like, I want to go home and see this person. I want to go home and see this person. Oh, wow. And then you see them, and every time you look at them, you're just overwhelmed with joy. Your body just literally tricks you into this. Where it's That's just nice. Like, it's, it's the best in the world. Yeah. So you just walk around all day, and, like, every time I open my phone, it's just my screensaver. I look, I'm like, oh, 
My heart just totally, it's, it's oh, bizarre. Oh, oh man. dude, it's, it's the best. Dude, you're gay. So gay. You're gay for your kid, dude. Dude, girl dad, dude. Hashtag girl dad like Kobe. You are like a girl Kobe. dad, dude. Girl dad like Kobe, bro. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Someone sent me a card and uh, they're like, you're a hashtag girl dad. And I was like, yeah, I was like, Brittany, what the fuck's a girl dad? And their family sent me a card. You're a girl Kobe. dad, bro. I was like, oh, fuck. I'm, I am basically Kobe. You guys should have done a gender reveal. Should have. That would have been sick. Should have. No. But dude, it was uh, so yeah. So I when you when you get out of the hospital, I just I there's no real time. Like when am I gonna jerk off? It's like, it just seems like a crazy thing to do. So I was super. I was like seven days, maybe longer. Super backed up, and like watching porn's weird now. So I'm like, I don't know. Somebody's porn. kid. It's all every fucking porn up thing is just stepsister, sister, daughter, daughter, stepdaughter. It's like Jesus fucking Christ, man. That's yeah. what, you know before where you think you're watching a stepdaughter. And then it turns out to be daughter, and you're like, I can let this slide now. I'm like, nope. Yeah. Then I'm like paranoid. I'm like, get up because my sc- I can do screen sharing to the TV. I'm all paranoid on my phone. I'm like, what if I was watching that, and then it screen shared downstairs, like my fucking mother in law, my wife <laughs> oh sitting my down. Oh my god! And it's just like, daddy. And I was like, dude. So I'm like looking at porns, like, no, 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 no. The only like, thing, the only stud thing, stud fucks beautiful black dude. mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the only, you, the only thing is safe she, now. You just cut off George Sadakalis. <laughs> She's just like, what in the hell? <laughs> so yeah, I finally cracked Damn, one did off. both of them motherfuck you ever combined? You ever get tag teamed by both of them? No, I Two never. black queens just coming down on it you? It hasn't, dude. Thank God. I mean, that's devastating, dude. In my old setup, when my ex-wife, I've definitely had two it's black like queens. It's like when Kane and Undertaker teamed up, dude. They were tough. Oh, dude. That's a tough team. With my ex-wife, they would team up on me and try to get me to get a serious job all the time. And it was just like, <laughs> trying to make you get a shut job. the fuck up. Trying to make you get a job. They were constantly trying to make me get a job. And I was like, fuck you guys, dude. I was killing it. I was making plenty of money. And they're like, you should like start getting a real job. And I would just be like, in the- I'm gonna start a podcast. You guys, and prove all you guys wrong. Yeah. I want to become a personal trainer. <laughs> oh, that was when you were doing personal training. I was a personal trainer for two weeks at LA Fitness, dude. I had to come home to my two black queens and be like, I made it two I'm weeks and I quit, that. dude. I quit so fucking hard, dude. I lasted longer at West Point. <laughs> Well, the be- I got yelled at for wearing fucking cargo pants. I got yelled at the whole time at West Point, dude. <laughs> the guy told me I couldn't wear cargo pants, and I was at the point in my life where I'm like, well, this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Scotty, dude. You were a Scotty. Big time, Someone dude. said no cargo pants at work. You're like, well, that's not fair. I was like, where am I going to hide my fucking keys in my wallet, dude? <laughs> where am I going to carry a water bottle in my pocket? <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> yeah, I got busted for cargos, and I was like, this is fucking bullshit, dude. I can't take this. So yeah, having having a mother living with a mother in law wife is I've done it I've done it like full time. That's wild. This time it's awesome, dude. This is a good this is a good setup. Inter, I, I want an intergenerational household so bad. It's the way it's the way you should do it. No, we had we had my fucking grandma in the house. Yeah, well I'm talking about when they're in their useful years. <laughs> Did you say my what? grandma was useless? <laughs> <laughs> I mean functionally, yeah. No, she was. <laughs> we were just waiting her out. We just coronavirus kicking. was. T- we needed it. Have you seen the commercials for hospice yet? No. Yeah, dude, watch daytime TV. They run like hospice commercials and shit. It's oh, I've run into that. Yeah, dude, what do you think so I'm doing s- during the day? So sad. I see nothing but like, are you a fat piece of shit? <laughs> Is your <laughs> dad dying? <laughs> dude, the, oh, I saw a hospice commercial. L- the, dude, TV was just like. We're all going to die from a virus that nobody understands. And then they're like, all right, thank you. Let's bring a stock market expert. They're like, stock market's crashing. If you watch that shit. Oh, it's wild. You're just in a paranoid panic all day. Uh, yeah, dude. I was paranoid. I was like, and it's funny too, because on Sunday, I was like, all right, nobody's even talking about this fucking coronavirus thing. Everything's good. Yeah. And then Monday when the news cycle starts up again, it's like, the world is fucking end. And then in, you know, in 12 hours, I went from like, oh, I don't give a fuck at all to like, I should probably take an Uber instead of the fucking train. Yeah. All that shit. Brittany told me to take the bus today, and I was like, eh, no. No way. No. Not happening. No. You have a kid. I understand that. I'll yeah, exactly. I don't care. Dude. If I get I bronies. I didn't care either. I was like, dude, you can't. I also, dude, with the whole, so I'm watching the, you know, all the daytime talk shit. They're just whipping people into a fucking frenzy. And then it's like, now there's election time, so now the fear mongering. Dude, it's so cut and dry. And then I'm, I'm watching all this stuff and, like, the debates and stuff, and it's like, so... It's so funny how neither of them are ever wrong. So you have people running the, the task of running the country, which should be this like 
enormously complicated task full of mistakes. Like there's no way people are just getting it right all the time. Yeah. And we're, there's two people running who are like, we've never messed up. They've always messed up. <laughs> yeah, need yeah, us to yeah, be. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. I just rather somebody be like, all right, this is, we fuck this thing up. Like there's no organic growth of people. You being want like, someone to be rabbit. You yeah, want someone dude. to be rabbit out and be like, this is where I fucked up. Now, yeah. now what are you going to say at your next debate, bro? Exactly. Come out and be like, I fucked this up. I fucked this up. I fucked this up. All right. Here's the things I've done that are good. People will be like, thank you. Instead, it's people who come out and they're like, personally, they're all, I've, dude, they're, personally I've never made a mistake. It's not, dude, it's a whole narcissist. Trump dog's the youngest. Trump dog's sitting at 73 and he's the youngest candidate. Right now. Yeah, Biden's what seventy seven. Yeah, I think I don't or something like Bernie, Bernie. and him. Bernie and him are geezed Isn't out. Bernie sixty nine. No, but I think Bernie's seventy eight. Bernie, yeah, dude. Why? Why is this a job for old geezers? Dude? I don't know. I wouldn't hire a geezer. Like they're not allowed to drive. I wouldn't hire a geezer for anything. That's above seventy. Unless it's Robert De Niro, dude. You see him in that movie where he's a geezer at work. Yeah, he couldn't even fake fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Dude, the uh, Bernie just had a fucking heart attack, dude. When? Bernie's seventy-eight. Bernie was born in nineteen forty-one. He was born. He was alive. He was like three when D-Day happened. Dude, <laughs> dude you're actually you called it, man. They turned on Bernie quickly. Pelosi's the oldest geezer, dude. She's seventy-nine. She's holding up, dude. I might hit. She's kind of yeah. She's not bad looking. Buttigieg, Buttigieg is thirty-eight, dude. He's like our age. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you called it with the whole thing about uh, they're going to turn on Bernie and they might start propping up Trump. They will. Phase two is hit your. If they, they can't, if they can't get hit, if they can't get Biden elected, they will. The moderates will start propping up Trump. You'll start getting news stories that are like, "Well, Trump actually handled the coronavirus thing pretty well." Well, they're saying like he's that. downplaying it. They're going. He's well, already right down. now. He is because they're still. They still think they Biden still can beat win. Him, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. That uh, I, well, first of all, I do think he called it though, because they they right away called Bernie. They're saying he's a communist agent now. They're saying he's like a Russian asset. <laughs> it's like, dude, you guys can't. You guys have like, road. You have the road scholarship, the brain trust of all the elite. You guys can't come up with another media narrative than like somebody's a fucking Russian asset. You yeah. guys already did it like three so times. He's, now. he's seventy-seven. And he just he's seventy-eight, and he had a heart attack this year. Well, they're trying to say like he's fully Damn. he's Moscowed out. Burn dog, six foot. Is he? Good, good for height. him, bro. Yeah, good he height. Got that slouch going. I didn't notice. True, he does have a good slouch. Yo, Biden, six foot. I think these guys are height lying, dude. You think so? Definitely. They're all Biden's definitely like, like five, five ten, ten yeah, five Biden's eleven, five ten. Or Alan I'm Iverson. six foot. Yeah, man, that's some, that's some bullshit. <laughs> Trump dog six too, dude. Let me see. <laughs> I gotta see Trump. <laughs> He's, he towers above his enemies, dude. Six three. <laughs> He's my height, dude. <laughs> He's six three. Yes. Damn. I knew man. I had I knew I had the perfect body. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Trump have the exact same dimensions. <laughs> Let me see that. He's got Damn. a wide ass. Trump's a big boy, dude. He's my size. Yeah, he's dude, he's bullying he's people. He's a dude. sassy daddy, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he's fucking bullying people. Oh man. But yeah, dude, they're gonna call Bernie a Russian asset. But that's the other thing too. It's like I think they want to move towards kind of like social democracy. I think they're gonna put everyone on the teat. And then it's clamped down on everything. So I think personally, I think Trump was something to rattle people's cages. And it turned out people are like, yo, this guy fucking rules. And yeah. They're like, fuck. I they think definitely was, didn't want him to. Nobody wanted him to win. No, I think he was supposed to rattle our cage. I don't, you know, I don't think anyone laid this out. But I think strategy wise is like, all right, he'll scare the fuck out of people so much that they'll just let uh, the Democratic Party do whatever they want. And like the stock market's up a thousand. Like the stock, dude, it's. People, things I think it are, just crashed, and I think Iran and Russia are talking. They're fucking us on oil or something. Dude, dude it, I don't know. It anything. goes up and down all the time. What yeah. you need to get is productive assets. All of the speculative shit on the stock market is bullshit. You just get. I did invest in Purell last week. Did you really? Yeah, it's good stuff. I'm actually doing well. It's going up. I made a ton of money. Bro. Did you really? No, nah, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, dude, my friend explained <laughs> it to me. I think I'm fucking with the stocks, boy. Well, dude. The way so all that like well this company might go up that's all bullshit and gambling like you're not supposed to do that you just get companies that have pay dividends you buy a ton of them like Coca Cola has been Coca Cola has never missed a dividend in a hundred years they they pay dividends through the Great Depression all this stuff's charted you just look for those companies that always pay dividends buy all those shares and then if the stock market dips you just buy more shares I don't know anything 
Dude, I don't know what a stick dividend with, dude, is. I'll tell. I'll show you how to do it. No, I'll show you how to do this. <laughs> no, if you're betting on like, well, this one, you're fuck, you're gambling, bro. True. That's not. You're like the wolf, dude. You're the wolf of Wall Street. Hey, man. Hey, dude. It's we cool. gotta get you in there. I don't have any stocks yet, but I, I, <laughs> I don't have any stocks. <laughs> I've don't never have any invested yet. once. But what are you thinking of investing in? I'm just gonna give money to my dog. My boy does all that stuff. Oh, okay. My boy Wes. He was the guy who went on the Dad Mead podcast and basically called all of our listeners losers and told them to get their acts together. Pretty tight. Nice. He talked for three hours and was like, this is how you crush it. It was pretty and it's pretty interesting. Nice. But yeah, that's all you do. It's all this shit about like when they're like, oh, the stocks are crashing, the stocks are going up. It's noise, dude. You let them. You literally just buy things that pay dividends. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking yes, about. Yes, I do. I'm telling you. <laughs> dude, Robert Kiyosaki would suck my dick right now, dude. Who's that? Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Oh, he nice. loves when I, I talk assets, bro. He's probably like, all right. Oh, you got to give me some ideas for stocks. You're, you're saying classics. Coca-Cola classics. Yep. Walmart classics. Walmart Ford? could be on its way out. So what? What's up? Ford, GM. GMs go on. You look up the. You, you can look up the companies <laughs> that have paid dividends over the last hundred years. Enron. Enron used to be one of the top companies that sunk. But the thing is, you diversify. You have a ton of them. So then it's like, you have all these things paying you dividends. Some obviously go up, and then like say like straw like uh, straw bridges and clothing like Sears are one of those. Say you bought Sears like thirty years ago. It just fucking went up and up and up. And now you're like, all right, this shit's dying. Starts to dip. Then you sell that stock off. And then you actually do get that big bump, that like speculative bump. You get that and you reinvest in all your other shares. And meanwhile, they're just spitting out. It's like a little mini apartment that just you buy it. And it's just giving you like 30 cents a month. But you buy thousands of them. And then when the market dips, you take all your dividends and reinvest them and buy more and more and more. And they just keep paying you out dividends. And they stop paying dividends. You ditch that one and get another one that does. You can't do this is what the elites do. Yeah, man. Jigs up on them, bro. Yeah, we got to start investing. Ward Buffett, dude. We got to start investing in stocks. You start a fund. And art. You start a fund. We got to start investing in good art. We should. And then real estate. We got to do what Jay-Z said. Yeah. Just all that. Art and real estate? Yeah. I'm buying you a picture, I, th- I decided. What kind? Ulysses. <laughs> or Ulysses, whatever his name is. <laughs> Ulysses, dude, when he's tied to his bow staff. Or nice. when he's tied to the mast of a ship. You know about that? <laughs> no, I don't think I do. Dude, he's, it's you, dude. He's passing through the land of the sirens. So there's just a bunch of hot babes just like oh, singing. Yeah. And they're like, the whole thing was like, they're, you, they're so hot that no man can resist And I know them. the sirens, yeah. And you go off, you go oh, off. Oh, yeah, he thing. tied himself to the boat. He said, too. boys, you better strap I want me pussy in so I bad, am. you got to tie me to the mast. And the picture is this guy who's just jacked as fuck. There's a bunch of hot like mermaid chicks singing around him, and he's just flexing. He's like, just God, ignore him, dude. I want fucking pussy so bad, but I have to fulfill my quest. Yeah. I might get it tatted on my back, honestly. That's a fucking sick tat. Can fucking him tied to the bo- to the uh, mast of a ship with a bunch of babes trying to get you to come? And this that's just you. That's just you and porn, dude. I mean, that's just you and porn. I mean, I'm gonna buy you the picture. You should I think keep you it. should hang it. We should invest it. I'll back tat it. We should invest that art. I'll get I told you, I invested in art already, dude. I True. got two goyas in my room. Reprints? <sighs> no originals. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> no total originals. Yeah, from his house. The walls of his house. You caught, you caught him out? Caught him out of the walls. The Tell hanging, me. dude. Oh, dude. The uh, I forgot. I wanted to talk about this. So, apparently, so we, uh, and I learned about this from family class as well. But, so apparently when you have a kid, a lot of bays just go f- total control mode on you. Where what happens is they're just like, they look at you like you're a total incompetent idiot. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, dude, it's. Were you sitting in class like. Okay. Oh, it's, dude, it's so. F- when they described it in class, they're like, "What happens is the woman just assumes the husband's totally incapable." Because, dude, it's like when as soon as this, like, you got to start doing the diapers and stuff. It said the kid pointed this out to me. They have like a lifetime of these weird finger skills of just kind of like from like braiding hair and doing weird little like the paper mache fortune teller, yeah, cookie cutter things. Yeah. So they're real good at doing these weird <laughs> finger movements. And then they're like, you know, holding a baby and ripping the diaper off and you try to help and you're just retarded. Yeah. You're like trying to pull the things in. A lot of times what happens is a girl's like, just let me do it. And then you go like, fine, good. fine. Yeah, good. And then she starts to slowly be like this fucking idiot. Then you start being like, she thinks I'm a fucking idiot. And they just slowly resent each other on and on and on over this thing of just not being able to share the response. She just feels overwhelmed. But she'll also be like, you're an idiot. And you can't do it. So they're describing that in my family class, dude. I'm like. Okay, sounds sounds pretty good. And then we go to the pediatrician. She was like, "You have to give him jobs to do, otherwise you'll start to hate him." So that's it's pretty tight. So that's my job now. Where like she feeds the kid, then I get to burp the kid and lay the kid down and hold the stomach so it falls asleep. 
But it's like, dude, that's a real. I was looking at that. I'm like, that's a real phenomenon. That, that ruins. If you don't have like the shit figured out, yeah. I'm like, dude, it's so easy for the shit to fly off the rails. Of being like, fuck, fuck you, fuck you, 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 because you're just totally sleep deprived. And then it's like, dude, if you're fighting before, the fights are coming, dude. You get like a one day piece. You get an armistice where you're like, oh look how cute this baby is, and like three in the morning, it's like, I said, get the fucking, not those wipes, yeah. like, shut the fuck up, dude. It's like, it's crazy. I you can't imagine. Total foot down. Can't imagine, dude. I'm telling you, you gotta knock them around a little. A little bit. A little. Hit Shake them. Hit them both. Shake them up. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be like, stop crying to both of them. Hit both of them. Hit my wife or my baby. Like, that's for fucking her. I can't yeah, do it. Yeah, give it, pass it on. But yeah, you have to, like, they'll they'll instinctively be like, go away, you're retarded. And you have to be like, no, I'm not retarded. It'd be awesome if, like, your pediatrician or the, who are the family class was like, and also if this doesn't work, you... Men, you do have the right to slap them. That's the last, you know, last, you know, worst case scenario. But you could slap them if they're getting, if they're getting a little too boisterous. If, yeah, yeah, man, dude, I'm telling. It's the funniest thing of just you're a total incompetent moron in their eyes, and you have to be like shake them out of it. Like I, I can, I can do this kind of stuff. Because if most dudes, because I know, can't, I fucking, I babysat my niece once. Yeah. Fed her bananas the whole time because I didn't know what they could eat. <laughs> she shit and just shit like a monster, and I couldn't. I couldn't change. I had no idea how to change a diaper. <laughs> well, yeah, with when diapers are brutal. Oh. It's tough, and you got to wipe from the vagina, vagina away. Yeah, yeah, Which, dude, that was uncomfortable. I didn't like that. It's really weird. Well, when it's not your kid, it's really weird. Yeah, like I had to watch my I had to watch my neighbor's kid like a while back, and then he peed his diaper. And Brittany just like whipped his pants down. I'm like, you gotta pat his penis dry. And I'm like, this isn't my kid. I'm yeah, not, yeah, I'm, yeah. I can't do this. Yeah. I, I can't, man. Yeah, it was my niece. And it was like, yeah, wipe from the, away from the vagina. And I was like, ew. Yeah. Is that what say you vagina? called for advice? They told me before they left. Yeah. And there's, when it, when it and gets I was like, ew. And then it happened. And because they were like, yeah, you gotta wipe away from it. You don't want shit getting in her pussy. <laughs> 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 I was like, yeah, ew. When you have to, like, you're supposed to push down on it and spread it out. And then you can kind of like, spread what out? You gotta clean the lips out, dude. Ew. Yeah, dude. Ew. You gotta, you gotta, like, the doctor was like, up or in and up. And it's like, boom. Let me see that technique. You, I might need that technique, you, dude. <laughs> for, my, for my beautiful baby girls, dude. Dude, you, you push, you go, push down on it and go up. And it just, Pops it, dude. You gotta pop that for a real one, dude. <laughs> and then you just take the wipe, dude. That's the other thing too. Like, ew. She'll just wipe her, just poof, like. And she laughs. She's like, you like dab, and I'm like, I don't have a fucking pussy, dude. Yeah. I'm not just gonna. I don't know how. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's, it's bizarre, dude. It's a weird. It's, it's a lady weird... work. It's a lady job, dude. Well, it's a lady job. But then they get over. If you give them, if you so that was a pediatrician was like due to our total sexist nature. You know, we're drenched in sexism. Women think they have to do this, and guys are like, yeah, this is fucking girl work. And then the girl just starts to hate you. Just hate your fucking guts. Well, we're not sexist. It's girl work. It's good for, yeah, (laughs) it is. But for guys to revel. It's funny. This isn't a great uh, take, but do you think that's how, like, they thought about racist? They're like, it's not racist. That's black people work. (laughs) (laughs) That just is that. (laughs) I was actually, there was a movie going on in the house yesterday. It was one of those, like. Black people working for very little bits of money and getting little respect movies. Yeah. I, like, walked downstairs and was, like, the two of them watching it. And I was, like, I'm going to go take a nap. Yeah. Those movies, dude, they have to. They, they got to stop making them, dude. They're, they've run their course, dude. Yeah. After Medea went to the moon, they should have stopped making them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're. I think they have. They've chilled out on them. They did slow down a little. This summer, black people working this for summer. minimum wage. People being mean. White people yelling at black people. <laughs> the black yeah. people responding totally rationally. I saw I saw Taraji P. Henson just kind of like being like, mm, mm, mm. And I was like, I'm going upstairs. I don't know what this movie is. That's the last is, thing you need. I'm you going hear one, upstairs. Mm, you're yeah. out, dude. I saw like her just kind of like looking off of the window and leaning out. I was like, I'm out of here. Fuck this. Nothing good's coming. For I don't you. want to see Taraji P. Henson being underpaid right now. <laughs> <laughs> being, people being mean to her. But yeah, dude, that's the, uh, it's the craziest shit of walking around. It, having a kid is tight, dude. It rules. Sleep, dude, it's not as bad. People are like, oh, how are you sleeping? It's like, if you're not a total pussy, it's not that bad. Yeah. If I'm used to having like but out of body. It's like, been one week, dude. True. True. You I'm got still time, walking baby. on sunshine. You got another year of not sleeping, baby. Dude, it's not that bad. Uh, it's been. <laughs> it's only been one week, dude. I don't know. I like I don't, it. I don't mean to. No, yeah. no. Fair enough. Bring some rain in here, but I've been 
you're calling it early. You're calling victory early. This is your <laughs> this is your mission accomplished, dude. This is W landed on the aircraft carrier, being like, we did it. We did it's it. It's easy and it's fun. I well, this is supposed to be the hardest time when they're like the newborn. It gets easier after that. I'm like, dude. I think people who can't handle psychedelic experiences, I think it freaks them out. Cause it's you, you, dude, you're in an out of body. Like when you're in the hospital, you go through like a weird thing, and then you have the kid, and then you're just like, what the fuck? Your whole life, literally, dude. It's like yeah. everything goes. All my weird hangups where I'd been like, well, what about? It, it just, it just literally goes away. Yeah, the only where thing just you like, care about is the kid. It's yeah, it's bizarre. You, you know, you still have your little in the podcast, stuff. obviously. That's kid, deep I, in your subconscious, when I woke obviously. Up, you know, that was first thing. Yeah, first. you weren't like the baby's sick. You were like the podcast could be in trouble because of a recession. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, all of your weird. Like, I was talking to a lady. Uh, I just like I think it was schizophrenic, dude. Her dog, my dogs met her dog. She started telling me her dog was named Prince, and like how her dog and Prince, the singer, had so many similarities, and how like her dog loved being around beautiful women. And I'm like sitting there, like, I really like, before I would have been trapped in that conversation for an hour before. Yeah. And literally, you're just sitting there, you're like, I got to go. Goodbye. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. have time for this bullshit. It's, it's so fu- It's so bizarre. That could have been, this. you know, it could have been Prince. True. How old was the dog? It was an old, it was an older dog. I mean, she was like, the dog loves fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's too scared to perform. Was his so collar purple? Soviets? No, it should have been. Wow. It's kind of bullshit. Yeah. This lady was, a, I think she was schizophrenic, dude. She like... It was what I was doing in my sleep. She was sleep. talking to a stranger about her dog being similar to Prince. And loving beautiful women. Oh, there's a lot of like old ladies quietly whacked out on pills walking around, too. Good for them. You give like, a geezer like a fistful of Xanax and send her out with her Pomeranian dude. Imagine if you were a geese. If, yeah. if some geezer living by just you and a Pomeranian, you're fucking, everybody's dead. Or you don't know anyone. It's, it's fucking party time. Yeah, see a guy it's walking. pill time. I'm gonna chat with that guy. I'm, tell I'm excited to talk dogs too. So I was she's like, been Prince, sitting huh? in her house like, God damn, this dog's a lot like Prince. <laughs> <laughs> For four weeks, <laughs> then she finally met somebody. It was like, this dog is. I'll tell you what, man, this dog's a lot like Prince. And you know, I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm like, all right, yeah. What? And I'm like, at times I didn't know if she was actually talking about Prince or Prince the dog. So I'm like, she's like, he loves beautiful women, and I'm like. Neither of them. You're, you're <laughs> you mean the gay singer or this dog? Was Prince gay? No. I think he did fucking smash, dude. Yeah, yeah. But he did have some very effeminate That's when you get – there's aura. a level of getting so much pussy you trans. Into exactly. like a kind of like – That David Bowie level. Yeah. Mick Jagger. It's tidy. He, David Bowie, I think, fucked Mick Jagger. Yeah, that was the rumor. Mick, then, everyone hated Mick Jagger, apparently. And then All Pryor the and uh, fucking – what's his name? One guy fucked Pryor's son, right? Well, that, yeah, that, that's assault, brother. Oh, yeah. I think, I think that's assault, brother. True. Uh, no, it was Pryor and what's his name? Like one of the greatest actors. Not Tom Cruise, but one of the greatest <laughs> actors of all time. Marlon Brando? Yeah. What? Yeah, I think Stop. Richard Pryor and Marlon Brando fucked. You think they 69? Might have. What? Yeah. Did Marlon Brando and Richard Pryor had sex? I think so. You heard it here first, dude. No, you didn't. Really? I think that's good. That's I heard it here first. I think one of somebody in like Pryor's, Pryor's estate said that in an interview that they had hooked up. Dude, I. What the fuck? Why? Why do they, what do they have to bring that up for? I don't know. Like, look how chill this is. Dude. Is that the eulogy? <laughs> like Marlon Brando was in The Godfather. Um, oh, Richard Pryor fucked him. The, and did I, did we talk about this? I think I told you that the roast, Richard Pryor's roast. It's on YouTube, dude. It's wild. Who roasted him? I don't know, all his friends. Paul Mooney. Paul, like, Paul Mooney's sitting right next to him, and he's like, "Now, Paul, we know you're a faggot." And he's like, "Everybody knows you're a faggot," and he's like, "We've been hiding it for two years. I didn't want to like we all know." And he like outed him, and then he was like, "Now I only say this because Paul knows I fucked a faggot once, and I've been." He's like, "It's been weighing on my conscience. And I don't want him to tell, so I'm telling you right now." Oh, I fucked him. It's wild, bro. What? Yeah. And he's talking about Marlon Brando. I don't know about that case, but yeah, in his That's roast, he just so comes out and says, it's "Fucking like, God funny, damn, dude, these guys are wild." He outed his friend and outed himself. That's, That's and everyone wild. was just like, "Hell yeah, it's got rules." This is the king. Yeah. That's a wild. That's kind of little Wayne Birdman admitted to both being bisexual. Did they? I think yeah. I don't think that. that either well, Bird, excuse me, Birdman. No, Birdman apparently came out and was like, "Yeah, like we." I, I think he like picked little Wayne up and was like kind of fucking him a little bit. 
Something like that, dude. No, they would like kiss on the lips. That was it. He said that he was like, Little Wayne's a bisexual. I know that because we've had sex. He did kind of one like that. Birdman hit him he with that. He hopped on the grenade. Damn. He was kind of like, yeah, we fucked around a little. Which, dude, thinking about Birdman. Whoa, you Wayne, heard that first. Thinking about- Birdman got his roll on with Little Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, dude. I, I mean, that's fucking. Imagine those two having sex. I think that's what broke up Cash Money. I think that's what BG. They all started fucking each other. BG and Juvenile, I think, were like. They were just we out of here. Yeah, like, we're not with this, Wody. Damn. Uh, that's, that's a strong accusation, dude. You're saying Cash Money broke up because of butt fucking? <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm, sodomy was the demise of Cash Money? I, dude, I'm, I'm telling you, dude. And the Hot Boys. I'm pretty sure. Let me. I'm gonna pull that up actually. They I brought think, in Drake, dude. Then they, then they brought in the fucking pedophiles, dude. I mean, dude. Whoa. It's a, Whoa. The cycle continues, dude. Birdman, <laughs> Little Wayne, gay. It's just gonna be a picture of them kissing on the lips. Oh no, man, both... I'm telling you, I read an article. Birdman talks gay. What rumors. in the Atlantic? <laughs> Little Wayne officiated same sex wedding while in jail. Okay, no big deal. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty tight, actually. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, I, I read, I read an article that was saying it was Birdman. Little Wayne saying, officiated a same sex marriage in jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. That was after he wrote Wait, How to Love. You can, How get, to love. you can get married in jail. Uh, apparently, dude. He's like, do you promise to lick him like a lollipop? <laughs> <laughs> do you vow from this day? He's probably doing it like, uh, no homo. <laughs> no, how about no? You think he lit? Do you think he lit a blunt before he did it? <laughs> <laughs> Into the mic? Oh, for sure. Dude. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's a... Lil Wayne officiating a gay marriage in jail. <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn. That'd be sick to be a fly on the wall there. Do you, Wody, take this other Wody? <laughs> you take this Wody. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it was all an auto-tune. <laughs> Damn. Fuck, dude, that must have been the wedding of the century. That's a wild <laughs> article. What was that article from, dude? I don't know, dude. Let me see. What website was that, dude? A lot black, of it. Black, and, black rap, rappers have the worst conspiracies, <laughs> dude. They get fucking hit with crazy shit. It's one of them just Birdman celebrates his 45th birthday, and it says, is hip-hop gay now? <laughs> 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 uh, the guard, that was in The Guardian. Little Wayne officiated same-sex wedding while in jail. Memoir reveals. Yeah, dude. Said, <laughs> go until November, which covers his stint in New York Rikers Island. The rapper says that the union was toasted with 13 bottles of Gatorade. <laughs> 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 That's awesome, dude. That's so fucking funny. Yeah, dude. What? Little Wayne? Dude, wow, Lil what Wayne. a fucking joyous occasion. That must have been a nice occasion, dude. Lemon Lime, Blue Frost. Oh, dude. I never did the uh, Rikers Island gig. What? Yeah, it got canceled. I think somebody got hurt. Really? <laughs> Somebody got like in trouble. You bringing back? They're gonna bring you back. They'll probably bring you back. Uh, I just got an email to do a different yes. one, and I also watched Walk the Line this week. I'm fired up, dude. Johnny Cash. Bro. I watched some Johnny Cash, dude. Johnny Cash. He fucking. He was getting after June Carter. Was he? That whole yeah. That movie's like supposed to be romantic. It's like him like she, she's, she's like, she's she's like trying Cash. to get married, and he's like June, I love you. Really? <laughs> yeah. She was like in different marriages, and he kept going on the road with her. Getting like fucked up and coming to her room and being like, "Kiss me, kiss me." So he was, like, he no. was work husband. He was work husband. They got he would they would stay in the same hotel and he would try to he would try to fuck her every night. And eventually she was like. And then eventually she gave in to his fucking. She bent. Oh, I mean, dude, imagine being that husband in the forties. There's no there's no cell phones. Your girlfriend just calls you once a month and is traveling with a superstar, mm. and you're just like, "All right, uh, I'm here. I'm here down in Wichita." Yeah, I just defeated the Nazis, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go fuck fucking Go, go have fun. Go, f- go fuck that guy who go only that sings one note. fake tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> who only sings one note. I'm not into deep voice singers like that. Really? I like I like Johnny Cash. I mean, I, I like go- I like when he got like when he knew he was like dying and got into like biblical shit. Yeah, he has some he- good. He's dude. He's a lot like Goya. True. He's Trent got some, the, the dark paintings of his are fucking sick. True. His Trent Reznor cover is cool. Yeah. Hurt. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. There's a couple, I, a couple of his songs I've liked. I just, I can't, like him, uh, who's that other guy uh, who's a big, Tom Waits a big, like, blah, 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 blah. It's oh, like, dude, that's another one. O'Connor loves fucking Seeger. Does he? He, like, is, like, put on Like a Rock. Put that song on. I'm like, dude, that song sucks unbelievably bad. Really? He likes Like a Rock. That's fucking pretty funny. Night, move, night fucking, moves. I'll give anyone. Night, night moves, moves is sick. Night moves is good. Like a rock. I'd like have to a rock. 
sucks. I have dude. to listen to it again. I've, I've, get, I've tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. On uh, almost every road trip, I bring up the fact that he likes Tom Sawyer fucking Bob like Sager. a rock, dude. Fuck, that's funny. And uh, I've played it. I've played it a couple times with him in the car to, you know, rub his nose in it. Like, this shit stinks, dude. Oh, there's nothing worse if someone puts on a song to make fun of you for it. Yeah. Fuck. It's a, that song stinks. He likes Tom Cruise and <laughs> like a rock. <laughs> listen to O'Connor think, listen to that song it's so or thinking about him listening to it it's so funny yeah, he got some he got some negative reviews on the reddit dude they were unhappy with well, the, dude that was a fucking free for all everyone was on there freaking out and blah this Billy and his mother retarded blah, 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 blah. O'Connor's a fucking pussy there was just people attacking each <laughs> I other was, dude, I, was I almost del- called O'Connor I was delighted to stay out of the fray for the most part that was funny when I talked to you and you're like I was like yeah dude it's funny I was like I, 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 I didn't hear the whole thing I heard they were going at him and you're like, you can hear my hand in that a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. You can hear me fucking stoke that a just little. Just pu- serving up fucking. Every once in a while, like if there's a lull, I'll just be like, Chris voted for Hillary. <laughs> 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 just let them fucking get him. <laughs> How did O'Connor take the uh, war room out? He didn't care at all. Like I called him that night because I thought he left upset. He yeah. didn't. He yeah. wasn't upset. He, he just actually left. He just had to go. Yeah. I thought he left in like a, a bit of a huff. No, he's like, I'm out of here. Yeah. That's so he funny. just had to leave. The war room app on Patreon is... Lit, dude. Up. Yeah, it is lit. lit. We actually just spent a minute uh, before this episode chilling with Billy, indulging. We were we were hanging out with Billy. I said, Billy, let me see these YouTube YouTube docs you're you're, yeah. you're going on about, and uh, I I don't I'm not I'm not with it. Yeah, I just it's just a fat guy <laughs> in a fucking hotel, you know, room yeah. like a just given facts about Sandy Hook. Not my cup of tea, dude. The video, uh, but I will watch it. Oh, I'll, I'll watch I it. Might, I might get docked, dude. I might get pilled. You could. I might get Sandy Hook Well, the, pilled. the problem with it is, is you watch and it's like, again, I, I fully I fully do think there's the government's run by kind of these rings of the elite. I, 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 you can't tell well, me that's that. what the government is. You, well. It literally is elites. Yeah, exactly. But there's yeah. elites who kind of chill on the back and burners. And there's, there's more elite at oh, the yeah. top the further you go. Exactly. So, they, yeah. But they're kind of in plain sight. It's not as... Like the heads of the DNC, like you could look it up. You can just see who's running it. I don't think. I mean, the heads of the DNC still are like uh, are I mean, controlling that. You're talking so the um, like Dick Cheney. What's the when the, Dick fo- Cheney was running shit? CF the Council on Foreign Relations. They're they're like four rings. The Council of Foreign Relations, is a, according to this historian, they're like three rings out. So the, they're just those guys are just doing the bidding of the other. The other guys just stay fully, fully in the shadows. Or it's just you just chill sesh, do your thing. You just literally make money you just put it out to people yeah so it's like but like when cheney was running the bush administration yeah oh that, that he was just that running it dude the secretary of state is the most important and the director of the cia the president has literally no the president is a joke because it's like the secretary of the state between the houses and all that stuff that's you can elect whoever you want and they can be fully blocked from doing whatever they can do or they can be assassinated too. Like, <laughs> hey, at any point him. they can be murdered so it's like I, I I personally think the news is like the news itself <laughs> can be murdered. Like you know, anyone you can, can get, murder them. Anyone can get touched. Yeah. I think the news is a, just like a, a bigger ad agency for like if you want to start a narrative, you can buy a narrative like an ad. That's a, that's what I think the news is. That's the, the main conspiracy I think is what gets to be on the news and why. The rest of the stuff, a lot of it, I think is yeah. You can see some of that in that uh, that. Showtime had a show about Roger Ailes mm-hmm. running Fox and like him just on the phone with the Bush administration about the Iraq war. Yeah. He was like, do you guys want this fucking war or not? It's like, give me what I want and I'll put you guys on Fox. Yeah, dude. So, I, I mean, yes. That, and then, you know, that's technically a conspiracy. When you get into like the YouTube docs, that's where I start going, all right, who knows? But I'm weary. It's a lot of it's Russian propaganda Cause there, or, or just any world government propaganda. Or just a fucking guy like – all, most of these are like, look, they moved this out of the way of the glass yeah. when he entered the school. So that it's like, dude, how do you know? What are you talking about? Yeah, you're watching them. Like most stupid th- fucking things like that where they're like, the news said there were two shooters. They reported that early. It's like, wait, is the news in on it or not? You said they were. Why yeah. are they fucking that up? True. Or are you sure it wasn't just them trying to report something first and they say something wrong? Yeah. And then you clip it and they're like, see? Well, if you also watch those documentaries wanting to believe that, yeah. all they do, they just put a text to be like, the police chiefs never showed up. And it's just in like a text on a video. And you're like, 
police chiefs didn't even show up, dude. <laughs> Fucking there it is. <laughs> <laughs> or when they just yeah. show a document, they're like, and this is a document. It's like. Oh, yeah. When they were going over all the guy's credentials. Yeah. It's like, dude. Well, no, even like. I sold cars with a guy who was who had like a Freemasons thing on his desk. It's like, dude. Any yeah. fucking dipshit can get a hold of a fucking like, oh for sure claim something for sure they, anyone know. can get on there. But again, with the Masons, is the same thing. It's like you just have these people who are like we're in the Masons, and it's like hey, how about we could do this? And they're like, oh right, right. hell yeah, how about you go sell Hondas? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but right. the um, but yeah, they were talking about how during like the 1960s of Vietnam, they they were kind of people were getting psyop. This was there was a Russian movement to convince the citizenry to de-arm like to denuclearize the country, to be like yeah, this is fucked up, man. Fucking get rid of the nukes, blah, blah, blah. And the Russians were, it was like apparently documented that they were pouring money in to get people to do this. So they, they definitely fuck, people are fucking around with each other nonstop. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I, I don't dude, know. Bernie, I, I just, Bernie's trying to denuclearize. He might be a Russian asset, dude. Hey, man. He hates nuclear power. Yeah. That's a new thing, which is pretty funny. He hates it? Well, now that's, that's like a cause for uh, all the people that love Bernie. It's it's crazy because my my Twitter is all comics. Yeah, and it's all of them just love Bernie now. Really? Yeah, dude. The alt scene loves Bernie. Alt scene is obsessed. That's why it's like I can't even cheer for him because I the the things that'll affect me is watching them be sad. That'll make me happy. Yeah, because all the people I hate love Bernie. Yeah. I kind of would rather Trump win just so I could see them on Twitter be like, "Well, I'm fucking done with this." <laughs> it's like, like ah. in terms of like the economy, it's like I, I don't mind. Much... I don't care what happens politically. Honestly, I, I think that might be the most rational. I just want to see people response. I don't like be upset on social media. Hell yeah, that's kind of all I want. No, that's, that's what I look for in a candidate. That's what you would. Who's going to make my enemies the most upset online? Yeah, that's a good. That's a good. <laughs> that's, that's why I'm like, kind of what the function if of the Trump president wins, is. If Trump wins, I'll kind of laugh. <laughs> if he wins again, man, I, I do think he will. I mean, dude, if I had to think about who I'd vote for, I it, it's it's a toss up. If it's Bernie and Trump, and if someone's like, you have to vote, I don't know who I'd vote for. I literally can't say. I have to do a little more research. You got to do some research because, yeah. And this is this is where we always, you know, there's gonna be someone on the red like you don't fucking understand anything. It's like, yeah, I yeah, don't. No I shit. don't. First things, first things first. I don't. Well, it's also know anything, but healthcare. I know it's complicated, but that's the fact that we're one of the few countries that don't have fucking. Mm-hmm. It's wild. We're getting it. We're gonna no. This is and this is my prediction. This is the uh, we're gonna be on we're gonna be on a single payer system pretty soon. They're just getting us ready for it because, they, you know, the people are going to freak out like this is communism. They want us to be in some form of social uh, democracy. That's coming. That's if, you know, if because, this, dude, this has been hundreds of years of planning. These kind of like societies that, you know, just say rich people who are like kind of moving stuff around and making things happen in a, or trying to make things happen in a certain way. They have a hundred year plan of just become just getting control over a one world government. They already have their surveillance kind of put in place. You know, and it's not and again. It's not just there's the Rhodesians and there's communists. So there's like they and then dude, that's the other thing too. There was like communists and stuff. Now you don't hear communists anymore. They just they let go of their name. Now they're doing like all the same stuff. So there's like communists, Rhodesians, and they're battling for total world world dominion. So it's like it's not just one group of people doing this. There's like three or four factions who are fighting to kind of get control of everything, which makes sense. Who are you cheering for? Oh, the Freedom Initiative, bro. <laughs> once they get, once they get their, I mean, it, you could do it. Yeah. They can, you can take it back. They really, they really could take it back. What's that? It's the guy, the professor started his own little his secret society of the freedom initiative. And, uh, that was a guy who unfortunately messed up with a symbol. Oh Dr- yeah. Drat. The guy who tossed out an ass. Drat. <laughs> Nazi threw out, symbol. Threw out a, a accidental upside down <laughs> peace sign, Nazi symbol, but he put like a head on it and it looks like a person just upward reaching. But yeah, but you, it comes with it. The only thing you have to swallow if you want to be in the Freedom Initiative, you have to deny global warming. Hoax, dude. You have to call the global warming hoax. But again, that's not to say you, you're against pollution. Man-made pollution is a problem. The, the problem is show me the fucking – show me the documents. And I apparently think, there I was – they have though, haven't they? Put no, out a so, lot of documents? I mean, again, I'm, a, I'm, I'm <laughs> what I'm going to say is I, I was looking into this last night, and apparently – you know the, how Trump pulled out of the Paris Agreement? Yeah. So, and I, there's apparently like, there was actual sources like, you know, like the guardian and articles that aren't totally like bullshit, I guess, um, that, well, the guardian also is running little Wayne 
marriages. True, true. So maybe the Guardian but it was, was slightly bullshit. I remember it again. I, I could be wrong, but I remember seeing our publications. I'm like, all right, this isn't just like PatriotUSA.com or whatever. This was like yeah, these yeah, are publications yeah. saying that they uh, the researchers got in trouble for flubbing uh, this research for like their la- like one of them like a, a couple years ago. They got in trouble for flubbing the stuff, and it was actually like in like Science Daily and all this stuff. So they, they flubbed this stuff at the Paris Agreement. And then yeah. other scientists were like, "This is bullshit." So again, I'm a, I'm a big open minded. I just know the Paris Agreement was wasn't. I, th- I don't think it was anything binding. I think it was literally just an agreement. Like, okay, this is all we're all going to cut our emissions. And then China was like, "Oh yeah, sure." And they fucked it. Yeah. We're all going to cut our emissions. U.S. You better. You have. I think. I think in the Paris Agreement, I could be wrong. The U.S. had stricter guidelines than like China and India. Really, I believe. Huh. Well, that's the thing, too. It's like, I'm not against non-pollution, but it's like... We love pollution, dude. True. Pollution Jesus. rules. I've seen you litter. You see, I used to be a big-time litter. Bro, you were a litter bug. You threw a chair out of my car once. <laughs> threw a folding chair out of my car on the that's turnpike. Litter. That's not That's ultimate recycling. litter. I did throw a chair out on the turnpike, but I, I threw that. I made, it, I made it to the shoulder. It wasn't a hazard to anybody. Dude, me and my a brother... folded-up beach chair. Me and my brother... Went, did I tell you when we uh, ditched a sofa one time? No. My brother was moving. I was like, I must have been like 20 years old. And he was, him and his roommate were moving out of their apartment. And uh, he had like a pickup truck. And I helped him load a sofa. And they're like, sit in the back of the, so- of the pickup truck. So we pulled, they're like, we got to dump this fucking thing. So we pulled down a fucking small street, dude. Little street. And he's like, kick it out. <laughs> I just kicked this pickup truck, kicked the sofa out in the middle of the street. So these people must have come out in the morning and see, oh. seen a fucking sofa. And they, they couldn't pull their cars. They, they're, like, there was probably a, a street full of people shut down because there's a nasty fucking like bong water That's stain. That's a so. litter bug, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's a litter bug. That would piss me off. If I had to like oh, lift the sofa. I, dude, what's really funny is it, it was it car. in Philly? Yeah. I would have... I would have immediately got racist. <laughs> if I was driving to work, I'd be like, I can't live in this neighborhood anymore. <laughs> I'd be like, they're leaving fucking couches in the street. It's just three white dudes. <laughs> yeah. I would, I'll be honest. Yeah. That's where I would go. Be honest. That's, dude, I'll be truthful with you. If I was driving to work in fucking West Philly and there was a couch in the middle of the street, you would, you would, I, would, the worst. I would take it. I would take it there. <laughs> you would have pulled up to a guy and be like, you're lucky I'm not racist. Otherwise I'd, I'd be like, I'd beat that shit out of you. You'd say what? I'd be like, <laughs> drive off. <laughs> Oh man, what's that? where are we at? Where are uh, we at? Like Ooh, an hour, it's hour late, 30. bud. Yeah, hour thirty. You better get back to your baby. I'll be up till like three o'clock. Yeah, the um. Wow, I can't believe Trump Dog's seventy three. He's he's the he's the young spry one running. Yeah, for sure. Well, this, I mean, you could tell he is the well, youngest. This I'm telling you. Well, he has never smoked cigarettes or done drugs or drank. That's why he's fit. My prediction is, <laughs> I think we are going to start slowly if. If the New World Order is as this guy, Professor Griffin, whatever his name is, says it is, he says there's a 100-year plan. We're in it. There's no stop. Like, you know, this is moving on. So I, I do think they're going to do. But if the plan is for governments to, like, give us health care and education, True. I don't know if it's, like, bad. No. Well, that's the other thing, too. It's, it's they, These people don't think they're doing anything evil. They're yeah. trying to advance mankind and pull mankind out of their, like, bullshit stuff. Yeah, but that comes with like you got to take all the weapons for people because you got to take total control. That's the, that's the other part. And then when people get total control, they generally become wicked. So it's like they could have the best I of want, intentions. I would love for Hillary to take my guns, dude. To just take total. I would like Hillary to dominate me, dude. But that's she's a, a geese too, dude. Are you? I think she might be fucking geezed out. She might be more than Trump though. <laughs> I dude. think she's dead. They're all Corona, dude. Dude, I'm telling you, if you're a politician, you should. I'm telling you, Shane, if you. Coronies is coming. Dude, if, if you, like, put an Instagram video out, like, I'm going to quarantine myself, guys. I'm going to do my part. You'll get, like, a ton of, like, people like, all the ear to the man, dude. <laughs> That's the best thing you could do right now is quarantine yourself. Clinton. If dude. you don't take coronavirus seriously, you're basically a Nazi right now. What? If you don't take coronavirus seriously, you're a Nazi. Yeah, Clinton's, like, the same age as Trump dog. Really? Yeah. Yang Gang's only 45, dude. But he's going to be our guy. Yang. Yang, save us. I mean, dude, the political... He could have. He can. He, he will in the he future. Call, That's all call. he's doing, dude. Oh, dude. He's uh, just planting the seed. We're going to talk to... I'm going to talk to McAfee, too. Oh, That's coming shit. up, dude. Once I figure out the Skype technology, me and McAfee... Studio's going to be popping. Yeah, dude. We're going to talk... Dude, imagine our future guests right now. McAfee. McAfee. Yang. Yang. Probably Bernie at one point. Probably Bernie. 
Maybe. Maybe Trump, dude. Maybe, dude. If we snag the biggest fish of them all, a sit down with the Donald Trump. Dude. dude. Should we eat the president, bro? I'm going to start reaching. I'll send an email to the White House, West Wing. Start putting, have Dorian reach out. Start putting out some feelers. <laughs> After he gets a snake oil, and tell him to contact the president. <laughs> it's so funny. The only reason I know that it's called The West Wing is from watching that Tina Fey show. What was that show where she's the – is that even Tina Fey? What's the show about the – Oh, Veep. Veep. No, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Is that this on Tina Fey? Uh, chick from Seinfeld. Yeah. Louis Dreyfus. Dreyfus yeah. yeah. So. Actual babe, dude. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm going to start – once I get this set up, once I get Skype set up and all this stuff with video recording and videos, I'm going to start – Putting out big feelers on landing oh, yeah. big fish, dude. We need to land some fish. McAfee will be the first one. It was actually weirdly easy to get him on. I'm like, is this not a big deal? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, This yeah. is pretty easy. I had a sponsor reach out. Sounded like a good deal. And then they are like, all right, just uh, send us your bank account information. And I was like, fuck you guys, dude. No, you can Venmo me. Yeah. And they are like, we either do Bitcoin or bank account. And I was like, right, no. What was the response? Some betting website. But he sent me a form for all my bank account information. Yeah, Just through dude. emails. Go fuck I almost yourself. got a Nigerian prince to do. That would have been awesome. I mean, that would have... You just got liquidated? I would have deserved that. <laughs> you thought you were getting a sponsor, got liquidated. <laughs> oh, enter promo code 52, yeah, Blue yeah. Chew, and then all of a sudden you check your I'm account. Just, I have an episode where I do ads for a fake company. <laughs> then an episode later, I'm like, guys, that was bullshit, actually. And they <laughs> ripped your me cruise, off. Your Chevy Cruise is gone. Dude, if, I, if the cruise got repoed right now... Oh... I don't know if I could take it. <laughs> what would you do? Dude, did I tell you about my sick-ass party time coming on Wednesday? What? <laughs> Dude. Wait, when you go down it's to Florida? party time on Wednesday. Oh, my God. I'm not going to tell you with who. Just yet. When you get back, dude. When I get back, dude. Oh, my God. Let's just say it's party time with a college football team. Dude. In Miami. That's so. That's going to be so funny. College, dude, I don't know. I feel weird outfit. about you should it. should pick I out an outfit. I do. I bought an outfit today. What are you going to wear? I'll show you, dude. It's a what? floral track suit. <laughs> <laughs> Some sick hat. Dude, I'm going to look. You're going to get another dress like DJ Khaled? I have to. That's the only That's the only move for a fat guy in Miami. You have to go Khaled. True. True. Dude, it's, it's the picture. if I take pictures with these kids, I'm going to look. It's going to look like a Make-A-Wish. Do you think so? There's going to be a <laughs> dumpy fucking old guy next to jacked 20 year old dude just rick ross out do a chain no shirt <sighs> that looks good with when you're black and tatted you get a tat you're white with like an stretch an marks it looks <laughs> fucking it looks terrible get an anchor on your arm i, I don't know i got i got a sick suit i checked the weather it's not gonna be too hot i'm, I'm gonna be able to pull off the track suit. good yeah you should get an anchor on your arm and just go like at least unbutton it a little and then i have to drive i will unbutton it probably get a chain you gonna drive two hours, and then I have to drive like four hours. It'd be so Key funny West. if you drove and they were just kind of like, "What?" And they just didn't answer. And you're like, F -f 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 "But I thought I was gonna hang out with like the football team." <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "Dude, you're 32." <laughs> like, we we're just kidding. I I can't. I don't know. I already have anxiety, go. dude. If I go, go to a college spring break right now, that's humiliating. Why? It's gonna be so tight though. It's gonna be. All, it'd be cool to see. It's gonna be BBG heaven, dude. It's gonna I mean, be the ultimate. Dude, the kid already sent me. Some of the, a picture of some of the BBGs that are in the apartment. I'm, I might die on Wednesday. He hit you with the rust. I literally might die on Wednesday. He started saying like, "Hey, by heads up, here's the BBG like, level." He was like, "There's BBGs everywhere." I was like, "Bro, it's so funny." He knows all they know all the lingo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. It'd be fun. I have to do it. You must, dude. There's if I said no, I'd be doing a disservice to everybody. That'd be bullshit. To all the dogs. That'd be to bullshit. Everybody. You got a full, like, full report back, Like, dude. this is literally what I worked for my entire Let life. Us, dude, seriously. This is the dream. How tight this is, is that? This is the dream. You get the D1 football party, but by doing a podcast. As a fat 32-year-old loser, <laughs> I get the D1 football party. Spring break, my dude. Oh, my <laughs> it's God. It's spring break. <laughs> dude, that's going to be so fucking fun. It's going to be embarrassing. No, it'll be good. It's you got it. You got it. It's for the dogs, dude. You got to let us know. It is for the dogs. How people party and get pussy. Like, it just, is. Just tell us, dude. Just so we know, we can jerk off about it. Like how hot the chicks are. The chicks. Uh, it's gonna be crazy. The dogs need. We all need to jerk off. They're about all in this. bikinis. It's also. I checked the weather. It's like mid seventies. It's not bikini weather. Tell that to them, dude. Sure, they're beautiful bodies. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> I, can, I don't know, man. I I, I am I, I am actually kind of like anxious about it. Why? I'm gonna fucking look like an idiot, dude. No, dude, no way, Matt. Yes. Spring break, the football team. First of all, I never went to a spring break in college. I never Me once either. went. I wasn't. You weren't ready for it yet. I wasn't ready. I wasn't mature enough until now. 
dude. You pop down and say, hey, guys, I'm just stopping so, by. Just stop I'm just stopping by. Oh, no, hey. Crash? <laughs> dude, you're going to get four beers in you and just all of a sudden be like, woo. No, I gotta drive the next day. If I get if I get like hammered, I'm done. Good luck with that. That third that fucking Thursday show in Key West might get canceled. It's gonna be a tough drive. Oh. It's actually a sick drive though. Yeah, it's, it's like a, all it's along the ocean the whole way. Really nice. That'll be tight. Yeah. Might drive off the bridge, dude. On the way down there. Yeah. Be like I've reached. That was Nirvana. <laughs> you should. <laughs> I might have to kill myself. What are you, are you getting? A, what rental are you getting? I don't know. You should rent a cruise. I'm gonna rent a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that's all you can rent. Cruises that is down there? the number one rental car. What the fuck did they give us when I was? They down give you usually like chargers or Char- is it charger. I got a. Yeah. They give you like black on black chargers. That's literally that's all you get. It's like a black on black charger. Wait, what time? When do you? You should go down. You should go down to Clearwater, bro. I'm gonna. Why? What's going on there? Clearwater, bro. Just fucking watch the fills. of spring training. True. I need to get down there. Well, now that South by Southwest is canceled, I think I'm gonna stay a couple days extra. Oh, you should down at yeah. Key West. Yeah, you should. That'll be sick. Go to Clearwater, dude. I might go down to clear water. Warm up. Check out the fills. The fills should be all right this year. Dude, I'm I might be drained, dude. Wednesday, I'm, I'm going to give it all. I'm going to lay my life on the line on Wednesday. Yeah. Also, I have a new allegiance to a college football team. Fuck Notre Dame. <laughs> this is all it took, dude. Did but I'll tell you what. If these boys are pranking me, and oh. I get there and they pants me in front of all the beautiful <laughs> baby girls. <laughs> you, you they pants me and film it. If you drove four hours, they just showed your flaccid <laughs> penis to a bunch of chicks. Like, fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. <laughs> they make me cry in front of college kids. That would be so oh, funny. Oh, man. I don't know. It's embarrassing. Oh. It is kind of embarrassing. That The potential. But I have to do it. Yeah, you must. Dude. If you get inv- if you're a geezer and you're invited to a college party, you have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Even if people are like, "How old are you, Mister?" Like, Don't worry about dude, it, kids. All right, all you gotta do is watch old school, so you have plenty of funny I'm jokes. Just trying to be Drake. Dude. Plenty of funny jokes. I'm just trying to be Drake. You do a big in Miami, don't you? That's all I do is Drake. <laughs> what would Drake do in this moment? Would he Touch hang? Would he go get fucked up and hang out with possibly underage kids? He it might be almost a little, definitely a little too old for him. True. I'm not well. I haven't reached his levels of greatness yet. True, true. I'm sure he dabbled with college kids at first. <laughs> you can't go to the prom. I'm gonna start going back. To- <laughs> 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 oh my god! Oh man, I can't wait. Next week, I'll give you the full report. It's gonna be a glorious week, dude. This, but hopefully, it doesn't get canceled. Last week, I was or last two weeks ago. My Wednesday was Rikers Island performance johnny cash dude if you're down there and party with a bunch of hey, college no chicks report. coronavirus is the worst the least of your concerns we went me and uh the woodman went to a strip club in connecticut nice and it was like dude i hope this is how we get it yeah i hope we get some cronies off some tits and bridge boards <laughs> some fucking <laughs> ladies tits. how's the strip club out there uh it was good there's always that weird energy when it's like uh in a city strip clubs get like when it's it's like a real weird energy in there. It's almost like casino energy where everyone's like kind of mad at each other the whole time. Yeah. You know, it's all very serious. Yeah, there's, I don't strip, know. Cl- there's strip clubs in Philly that are basically <clears throat> like whorehouses. Yeah. Like it's on. I'm not oh, going to name This one up, driver so. picked us up and was like, do you guys, first off, our Uber driver picked us up. This weird white dude in a fucking Jetta. He picked us up. He was like, how was the pussy in there? And we were like, well, it was good. They were good. He was like, young? Were they tight? Were they good? It's like, Jesus Christ, Jesus, dude. man. And then he offered to take us. He was like, this place is where you want to go. And there was another strip club that he was naming. And he was like, I go there. He's like, honestly, guys, if you want me to take it off the clock right now, we can go in. <laughs> he, he, wanted, to, he probably he, wasn't even Uber He driver. wanted to chill, dude. He just wanted his stripper buddies. He wanted to take us in, yeah. He didn't he want to like, go by himself. He was himself. like, just Dominicans, 60, 80 bucks. You can fuck. They'll suck you. You just got to be careful because they will fucking rob you. And I was like, all right, thanks, man. Uh, that's and that's he was a like, nice He literally pitch. was like, do you want me to turn this off right now? We can go. And it was like, no, nah, we, we're fucking tired. Let's just go back to the hotel. He's wanting to fuck mommies with you guys for he 60 bucks? He wanted to go fuck some mommies with us for 60 bucks. I was like, bro, this is wild. I was, I was in Atlantic City one time getting a lap dance, and the stripper wanted to fuck and like wanted to raw dog. And I was just like, no. No, dude, you hung out with the staff. True. That's she, what I, did I tell you? I did that in London. Did you? I chilled with the staff. At the strip club? Yeah. No, not the strip I, club. I was at a strip club. We went to a whorehouse, and what? I fucking I trumped out. You trump, you hung. It was Epstein staff? Island, and I fucking just hung with the staff. Good for and I was you, like, dude. we we can't be doing any shenanigans in here. Good for you. Yeah, felt a little gay after. Really? <laughs> yeah, there's like you, know, you went to years. a whorehouse, and you were like, well, you didn't do anything. Nah, you're better off. No, I did the right thing. You did. Yeah. What'd you do? Just like pout around with them? Yeah, pout around. 
Yeah, <laughs> hung out, played, <laughs> hung out with the staff. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Trump was doing. Probably. Yeah. Well, he's at Trump's. Trump's never done any kind of. What? Trump's never done anything like that, bro. Yeah, Trump probably just ate down. a steak. He's probably like, give me a steak. Let me get a let me get a Trump steak. Give me a steak and a Coca Cola. True. That's cool. You get the party with the, the staff parties. That's cool. They're just hanging. Staff party. Well, I guess so. Yeah. I guess they're not in there like reading like. Yeah, like economists or whatever. <laughs> yeah, then, and then eventually I was like, all right, I gotta get, I gotta get the the con man out of here. And they oh, were, they man. were as soon as I started mentioning like, all right, we gotta go. They were like, you need to leave. They kicked me out. What? They wanted, they were, they were the sirens, dude. They had him, and they wanted to, yeah. you know, milk him for more money. Oh yeah. So they were mad that I was like, all right, he should be leaving now. It's this like is... when you know they have like a, a a mother cow and they hook like the thing, the metal hoses to her nipples. They probably <laughs> yeah, had like yeah. two hoses to his pockets and they're just fucking just draining them. They did. They fleeced us, bro. Really? Yeah. Yes. I, and I didn't get hit as bad, which was hilarious. You paid the entrance fee on the way to. Well, we went to a strip club first. Yeah. And that's where we got. We both got fucking drilled there. Yeah. And then that we went to the after party. That's where things got. It was rumpus time. How do you find out about this place? Just one. Of, I mean, it, the whole thing was a ridiculous. I mean, it was it was stupid. Yeah. We we left uh, a show and then we're out. For, we're in basically London's Times Square. Right. We're in a fucking tourist trap and a guy on a fucking rickshaw pulls up, and he's like, "Do you guys want to go to a strip club?" And I'll come in. So yes. And I yeah. looked at him and I was like, "Dude, we are idiots right now. Like this guy's." gathering idiots to bring to this place yeah that's his job he's a steerer yeah his job is to look and find two idiots he's a barker and he saw you and me he saw fucking mice and men over here (laughs) (laughs) and then he picked us up uh yeah i kind of i was i was dissuading i was trying to dissuade but i went along i wanted to see what i wanted to see a journey dude true i want to see the con man's journey what he's up to when he's out scurrying i've never seen him scurry i'm telling you i remember it's no good i remember like passing there there there's a time in my life where I'd pass a strip club and I would like it would fuck me up like I'd have a serious urge to go like I, I remember like I would do a comedy show someone would give me a couple hundred bucks you know this was like to me it was like bonus money I'm like yeah. alright what the fuck that, that was 15 minutes I got $200 and I would pass the strip club dude and it would just be like a magnet I'd be pulling me to I don't know what it is but it'd be, it'd be pulling I bet it's tits yeah but I mean <laughs> I bet it's the possibility of coming True, but I mean, it, it's also like <laughs> I don't know what it I is. still want to come. But yeah. it, it's like it's one of those things where you're like, I it was like almost you couldn't fight it off. Yeah, that's that's weird. That's like a that's a wild. It's easy stuff. to fight it off when you have no money. Oh yeah, it's so easy to just be like, fuck, I'm not going to a strip. I'm not fucking going to a bar or a strip no. club or anything. Yeah, you get a little bit of money, and it's like, yeah, this. I'll yeah. go do that. Might once as well have, look at tits right now. Well, once you have money and your all your needs are met, and then you just have extra money, and you don't have like you know. Like, again, like not not bragging. Having a kid is like you have a kid and all that shit goes. You're like, I'm not going to the fuck. What are you fucking talking? About? I can't yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. go to the. Although you know, a lot of dudes kids do. Most of those guys are daddies. True. A lot. There is a lot of daddies over there. Yeah. The dirty daddies. But that's like a but self self fulfilling prophecy. All those daddies that are at the strip club are basically fueling the economy for strippers. For They're sure. creating the stripper <laughs> yeah. by being there. <laughs> but yeah, dude, it's, it's a bunch like, of chickens watching eggs. But if you're just kicking around, you're just kind of like, you know, whatever. I remember you have extra money and you're like, I could come right now and still eat. I'm definitely <laughs> going to come. I'm going to come. I choose coming. I mean, that's that's the dilemma of man. Can yeah, you dude. come and eat? It's it, a yes every time. If, the, if, if both are checked, yes. Exactly. Yes. And then you get into the sick and twisted realm of being like, I mean, a couple hundred bucks. Is, I mean, a couple hundred bucks, by the way, is bottom of the barrel. So people get into like $700, $800 prostitutes. You know, get into Epstein's. Especially know. when you make it pounds, when you switch from dollar to pounds, that was a fucking dude. Yeah, that's tough. Not to Chuck E. Cheese money. I was with money. these two strippers. I paid so much money. Oh and yeah. And I was like, they were like, "You gonna fucking tip us or what?" And I was like, "I just paid like five hundred fucking dollars for this, dude." No. Of like a double dance. Yeah, it was crazy. It was nuts what they were doing. Yeah. And no, it didn't touch my dick. Yeah. Nothing like that. Yeah, I got swindled one time. Because when we sat down there, I told her, I was like, I'm not doing it. Like, didn't uh, touch your knob? They, uh, slightly. Yeah. At one point, the one stripper just had like her pussy like on my shoulder. And I like looked back at it. And I was like, ew, dude. <laughs> I was like, this is a fucking mistake, dude. Dude, I did the same exact thing one Full year. fucking open snatch on my shoulder. And I was like, ew, ew, ew. Oh, yeah, it's that's worse kinda... when you get an ugly fucking stripper that's like, do you want to dance? And it's like, uh, like, like Yes. No, but 
don't want to you feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember one time back in my back in my heyday, I had made like I was I was out. You know, I was up to fucking no good. It was monkey. You were up. Yeah, it was, it was business, rumpus bro. time. Dude. Rumpus time. Back when I was like twenty, you know, something. I don't want to monkey business. Yeah, I was before I was married. First time, and uh, <laughs> I, I made I had made like fucking like four thousand dollars one week just out doing my little bullshit. And I'm so I'm like never had that much money. So I go to a strip club that weekend to a bachelor party. I'm like two girl, you know, whatever dance thing. And I'm like I'm evil. I'm definitely having them. And I got the VIP room. They just fucking like rubbed their tits in my face and like told me weird stuff. Yeah. And then like, I, I, I was just out of $800 and I was like, what the fuck happened? Yeah, and I was just like, never again. Fuck this. And even after, again, it wasn't even like, you know, I'd made a bunch of money that week. Most of my life. Pretty fucking awesome. And then the, uh, yeah, I just was out $800 and I was like, fuck this. This is so, fu- I feel like such a fucking idiot. Yeah. Cause it was, again, I thought I was like, they see me coming. I got racks. They were just like, thanks for the 800, retard. If yeah. I'd given them 50, they're like, thanks for the 50, retard. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, that's, that's a... But it was there was redemption when going to the airport for the flight home, I checked my bank account, and I was like, oh, thank God, dude. It was less than 1,000. Like, thank God. I, yeah. I thought, I thought I for real thought I spent like 1,500 that's good. that night. Checked it. Great. It was cash, too. Yeah. It was less than... No, it wasn't. It was my card. You can, you can decline. You could have challenged that. Bro, fucking London, you could have been like fraud. <laughs> Everyone, dude, every American, by the way, gets one free wishy-washy trip a year, and you can call your credit card and be like, I don't recognize that charge, and they'll take it off. You're ripping off the sex slaves? I'm not the – they're owners. <laughs> they're evil fucking owners. I'm, I don't, I'm not saying I'd do that. I'm saying you, you can't. You can't rip off the sex slaves. <laughs> not the sex slaves. They're evil owners. Yeah. You call, and you, you just gotta go. You got to chill with the staff, dude. You cannot – you can't have sex slaves. Sex slaves bad. You should start, I'm going to start going to wishy-washies and checking green cards and be like, let me see their passports. Do they have their passports? Excuse me. I bet you would get the fuck beat out of you. I'd probably get stabbed. Yeah. Pretty quickly. They definitely have a guy there that's ready to get any crime stopper. <laughs> any fucking neighborhood <laughs> watch is getting it. They have a Ninja Gadian <laughs> in the back. Do, dude. Yeah, dude. That, uh, you can do that. Everyone, if you want one freebie, you go and you just, and then like, dude. What are they going to contest? If like, they start contesting the charge, I'd be like, you guys are a fucking whorehouse. Yeah, but what was funny is I tried Power to, like, play, dude. after I went upstairs from that, that dance, basically I got the VIP room. Yeah. Same exact thing. Like, tits in my face, that was it. I went back upstairs with the bartender that was up there, and I was like, I tried to play it cool. I tried to be like, Psh, I don't even care. That's nothing to me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, I just got fucking ripped off, bro. And he was like, yeah, yeah, you did, didn't you? And I uh, like, Bad, bro. When that happened to me, it was funny too because I had I did a, try to act cool at first. I was like, I don't even care about that. That's fine. I didn't even want anything out of me, that. Dude. And then I went upstairs and just immediately was like, fuck, I just got fucking raped, dude. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I I, it was getting robbed. It was getting robbed. It they is, picked dude. us up while we were hammered. It took us to a place. We're like, do you want to dance? And it was like, yeah. They're like 450 pounds. It's like, that's like 800 bucks, lady. Get out of here. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah. That's what uh, I remember. When I did it, the two girls basically just like basically ignored me and just like talked to each other. And I was like, oh, all right. Yeah, that's cool. That's chill. I'm not like these other guys. I'm, I'm we're just out having fun here. Yeah, I don't even care. And they just ignored me. And I'm like, what the fuck? I was so mad. What's don't- your real name? <laughs> yeah. Like, like seriously. How, how long have you been doing this? What else? <laughs> just fucking. I used to go. I used to go to the strip club early in the day and just talk to strippers. Just chop it up with them. It's pretty sick, though. That was fun. I, th- I did that when I was in my early 20s. Did you, you ever hang out with a stripper outside the strip club? No. I had two brief relationships where, like, I would hang out outside the strip club and, like, chill with them. And one lady definitely fleeced me. Would yeah. come by and be like, yo, let me borrow 50 bucks off you. I'm like, we're hanging out. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're supposed to see, like, some movie. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, I got you. And as soon as I was like, man, fuck this. But the one you lady. You're supposed to go see a movie with this. Do you remember the movie? It sounds I like you're about to forget. remember it. I was, I was going to say. Not Dunkirk, but like that would have been way too similar. It, it was, stripper. it was. <laughs> it's like, so what's this about? You're like, fucking you know, explain Dunkirk, the evacuation of it Dunkirk. It wasn't Dunkirk. You gotta it explain was... Dunkirk to fucking Lotus, <laughs> or whatever her name is. It was, it was some war-ish movie. I forget one of them. This was a while ago, but the uh, there was one fuck. There was a girl one time that like I fully took her to the fashion bug. <laughs> oh, like, nice! I spent like you 70, took a stripper out and bought her clothes to the fashion bug, bro. We went to the fashion bug, dude. 
She was Fuck so yeah. hot. I was, it was in love with this. Did you get dude. to watch her change? I mean, I did in the strip club, but the true. But I'm saying in the, at no, the, no, no, oh. no. This is we were just chilling. That was a chick who had a nine month old kid. That like me, her, me and a stripper and her nine month old kid would hang out in her apartment, and there was tranny prostitutes that lived above her that would make a ruckus. And you would hear them fucking yeah, banging around upstairs. Fighting. That, and that was the time when, like, before I came over, she said she chased one out. So one of them was giving head in the hallway. And she, she was, like, feeding her kid. And he's her dump, 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 dump. And she had to go outside and just be like, what the fuck? Get out of here. And they're like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a dick out of her mouth and be like, fuck you, bitch. Go inside. <laughs> yeah, that was I'm a working. Gritty, Dude, that was how sick and twisted I was. Like, dude, I was chilling in the grittiest. Yeah, dude, you were sleeping in convenience stores. That was a different thing. Yeah, I that slept in a lady. Tight. That lady's boyfriend got uh, deported from got deported back to Jamaica for having an AK forty seven. So then I <laughs> met her. I met her, in the, I, <laughs> I met her in the restaurant depot, and just was like, "You can put your stuff on my." She had like sugar to buy it was for her store, and I was buying stuff at my brother's taco shop. I was just so attracted to this lady, dude. She's a little older than me. And then I was like, yeah, you put your stuff on the, you know, my little dolly. I carried it out to her car. And that was, that was when I, I was just like, dude, we should hang out. And she's like, what, you got jungle fever, white boy? And I was just like, I guess I do. And then she hung out. And then we, I said, I ended up, I got fleas. And I, you know. You got fleas? She op- I had fleas. In, no, no, I got, I had fleas in my house. They, they just, <laughs> my sister's fucking cats brought them in, pissing me off. Yeah. So I was like, babe, my house is, she came in, dude, saw the fleas. was like, fuck it. Let's go to the convenience store. So I slept there for like a week, dude. I slept behind like bulletproof glass in like a poppy store for a week and just like ate this chick's pussy and wake. She was like, I could wake up. She'd be like, go grab yourself a snack. I'll grab some snacks out of the convenience store. Yeah, I'd wake up. I'd Holy go out. Shit. In the middle of the night, we'd lay on a pad and we watched Medea. And then oh, I'd, that sounds so nice. It was the dude. It was heaven, dude. That's magic. It was heaven. I slept behind the bulletproof glass with a Jamaican lady. Just and then you have the whole store to yourself. We could do sweet we'd treats. Grab stuff ever. So go grab a condom. I'd go to the thing, like grab condoms out of the convenience store, walk oh back behind God, the bulletproof dude. glass. And then dude, it was so funny because she was supposed to be running the store. And she would just, it would just not be open ever. And she would go pop in at like 10 a.m. And people would be outside. She'd be like, all right, relax. So it was just a front. Yeah. So she just would like go there and try to make a little bit of money. And it was, oh. dude, it was insanity. How old were you? Oh, man. I was like probably 24. Fuck she wanted me to, man. she wanted me to stepdad. She wanted me to move in with her. Dude, we had a thing. I'm not going to lie. Damn. Me and her had a thing, dude. She was a, she was cool. Did she, she have a Jamaican accent? No, no, she was, she oh, was, okay. she was like a, she was like an American black lady who like, I think like had the way like I would yeah. be Irish. She was Jamaican. Okay. So she definitely had, there was a dude that would come around. I used to call him Urkel. There was like a dude who would come around. I would like give him like ounces of weed, like sell him ounces of weed. And she was like, this is my nerd friend. We were, it was, well, it was back in the day. Okay. It was like, uh, uh, at a time, one at a yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> yeah, come on. My, yo, I'm, squ- I'm, I'm all, you know. I'm on the books, baby. I'm all squeaky. True, man. I hear you. I got nothing to worry about. You got nothing to hide. Man, nothing to hide, bro. Man, the, what's, uh, that's so not, dude. Yeah, that's... He would come. This guy would buy an ounce, and I would call him Urkel. It was funny. It was, you know, we'd had a good laugh about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's a strong joke. When you see a black nerd and you talk to your black girlfriend, you're like, "Who's fucking Urkel?" And they just look at you like, oh. "She's la- She's always. She didn't know you had the juice like that. She thought it was pretty funny. Dude. I was like, "Yo, where's Urkel at?" She's probably fucking Urkel too, but whatever. <laughs> I think Urkel was sliding in there, sleeping on the pad. I don't do treats. He, I would honestly have been offended if he had slept on the pad and been able to eat fucking mambas, dude. I'd have been like, "What the fuck?" Oh man, that's dude, bitch. I thought they were for me. Dude, like, she only rented cars. She never owned. A, she would rent a car for the week. It was like five hundred dollars a week, and she would just drive, whip these rented cars around. Pull up in the middle of winter. She's whipping the Chevy. Cruise. Just a jacket. She'd wear a long jacket with nothing under it, and just come to my shitty house that like just got bombed for fleas. Once the fleas are gone, and just come lay on my mattress with me. And we would make sweet love, dude. And she would <laughs> smoke a blunt, eat Sour Patch Kids, and then we'd both fall fast asleep. And then she'd wake up and be like, I gotta get my kids ready, and just darn off. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it was the she's fun. like, you just ate my kids' fucking Sour Patch. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it was. The- that's, what, that's I think that's the best time to be in love. Early twenties when you fucking when you find good bays in your early twenties. Yeah, man. Oh, she was a sweetheart, dude. That's that, nice. She wanted me to come in. Her kid was nineteen. She's like, I want you to move in with me. And like, you know, I was like, I can't. I'm twenty four. I can't step dad. You're nineteen year old, bro. This kid's gonna fucking eat my lunch. She was sixteen. Excuse me. Oh, she <laughs> me to, well, still, he's a kid. me to step dad, a sixteen year old. And I was like, this kid's gonna he fuck me fuck up. you up. This kid would definitely have fucked me up, dude. Now I think I'd been able to pull it off. Now I could step dad. Now you're mature enough to I'm mature enough. Now twenty you know. four. The dad and over a fucking 16 year old. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. I How was, old was she? 30 something. She was a little older than me. She was a mature woman. 
She was a mature natural. She had kids. She did have kids. She's young. Mature natural, Ebony. Yeah, for sure. She had kids young. Uh, Man, that's like a. I'm I'm jealous. It literally broke both of our hearts. I was like, look, what you want this, where you want this to go, like it, it just can't. I'm right. I'm not willing. I I can't take on. You're a love dude. You're a lover, bro. I'm a big. You've time had lover, several bro. fucking heartbreaks. That one hurt me, dude. That one was a lot of that sad emojis. We were away. both sending each other sad emojis, and it was like this. Just can't be. Just two adults sending sad emojis during <laughs> an actual heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I love. That's it. always weird to me when there's like a tragedy and people send emojis. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, that's all we could. That's all we had, dude. Yeah. Excuse me. Fart. Is that a fart? Yeah. <laughs> Something <laughs> fell. <laughs> Something did fall out of my butt, dude. It's gas. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Say it to Maria. Let's get out. Let's Pray get out for this cast. Huh? Pray for the cast, bro. Yeah, man. Um, what else we got going on? We got the McAfee call next week. You'll be away next week, right? Uh, no. Now that South by yes. is canceled, oh, I will yeah. be here. Good for yeah. The Coronies canceled South by. All yeah. right. Coronies wants us to cast. Um, I'll be here next week. We can cast same time, dude. That's what's same up. time, same place. Oh, my God. Uh, studio should be close. Video, dude, We're next week. On it. No, next week we'll have, we should have video. Fully. We got the mic setting up. You hear the fucking quality. Hopefully you couldn't hear the dirt bikes in the beginning kicking around in the background. It's going to be something you're going to have to get used to. Yeah, it's sure. going to be some dirt bikes. Summertime, dude. We do live in a neighborhood of Rough Riders. True. <laughs> this is Rough Riders territory. <laughs> but now we'll put the, the curtains Summertime. up. Summertime. God damn it. It is about to be like nice Sound, out. Put soundproof it's going to be Rough Riders city Soundproof out curtains, bro. Soundproof curtains. We'll be good to go. Trust True. me. Cams, dude. It'll we be. We need to put up a flag, dude. Rogi said he loves flags in studios. We already have one on the way, bro. We need a flag in the background. Big American flag. We got a red curtain. We're not gonna get purple. We're gonna get red curtains on that side. There'll be a camera angle on there. No, there'll be red curtains behind you, so we get a rogie angle. I'm gonna sit somewhere where you know I'll be looking probably over here. So we'll get it nice. Producers will be back here. Dirty deeds. Dirty deeds. Lemaire. <laughs> Dirty deeds. Lemaire. Dirty deeds. Lemaire producing. Yep. We'll try. It. We'll have an intern in the summer. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be nice having Billy here too. Exactly. He can drop in on the cast and spit some facts. Billy's like an old ranch hand, dude. Billy's been fucking. Who do you think you assembled all the chairs and stuff? True. Billy's Billy's been Billy's been crucial for instrumental, for dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I my one chair didn't have the necessary parts, he you know sent me pictures of everything, big time, dude. Yeah, Billy's. It's good to have it's a like, man. This is like thirty rock. It's good basically. to have a man around the house. One hundred percent. Billy. It's a thirty rock, dude. Yeah, this is the new. This is it, man. It's a new NBC, dude. Look, when call me George Stukalos, dude. <laughs> you are basically George Stukalakis. <laughs> <laughs> Look, when Rogies finally rides off into the sunset, dude, I believe this is the new Rogies, dude. Oh, definitely. When Rogies abdicates his throne gracefully and rides out to like Wyoming with Kanye, probably. Do you think he's gonna abdicate like Letterman did and just be like, he did it? He kind of was like, he bowed and he grew I a think beard so. and stuff. Why do if you think Rogies grows a fucking beard and moves out west, moves out to the fucking big sky country? He should. I think he will. He talks about it all the time. Yeah, Rogies needs to bow and arrow out there. We should psy hop him. We should psy hop him to giving us everything. He, dude, we won't need to psy hop. True. Rogies will recognize our greatness. True. We'll say these are the purveyors of truth. He'll give us his vitamin company, kettlebell we company. We are going to need his kettlebell company. That's going to be paramount to our success. Stamps.com. Stamps.com. Hell yeah. We need that. Right now, our sponsors are fucking gay. Yeah, our sponsors are <laughs> trying to trick us and take our money. <laughs> All our sponsors are just Nigerian princes, dude. Ridge, I'm, dude, Ridge Wallet tugged my heartstrings. Really? They offered to cut Billy and Spud a check. No strings. Like, I'm going to give them. So we boys. might have to go with them. I, I might, man. I, I, that, I, I hear like, you, God, dude. I was like, God damn it. Wait, they, they're they working on you now. Yeah. They've been running into buzzsaw that is my email. <laughs> <laughs> I do not respond You're to shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I respond to everything. Like an old lady, I see like a, n- a number I don't know. I'm like, hello. Who you called this number? She's like, pop. Yeah. We have your car in warranty. It's like, what? Yeah, I got I got a couple of those this week. A couple of people calling me, being like, I just got a call from this number. I was like, it was just spam. Yeah, no, you didn't. From my number, pretty wild. Oh, really? Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, some bullshit. Um, but yeah, dude, I, I am very confident that this is the future. Fuck yeah. Let's do it, dude. Rip the fucking, the, again, the cams, the YouTubes. It's going to be, people, don't, I don't think people are ready for it. God bless. Dude, come, uh, if you're listening to this, come the 12th and 13th. I don't know. Does anyone live in fucking Key West? Geezers, dude. It's just Geezers. Oh, Coronies is going to be 
<laughs> your cronies going to be running <laughs> rampant down there. You're going to be like the old uh, ring around the rose. You're going to have like dudes in wheelbarrows. Like yeah, the it is going to be the plague down there, dude. <laughs> like an Hieronymus Bosch painting. Oh, fuck. Uh, Margaritaville is about to take a dark fucking turn. That's, oh, yeah. Fucking, uh, fucking uh, Tim Dillon just did a video called uh, Corona Vita Lil. Or something like Quarantinaville. <laughs> He's quarantined on a boat. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Uh, the, yeah, this, this Thursday and Friday at, uh, Key West Comedy Club. And then the 25th and 26th, the Wednesday and Thursday before Skankfest, I'll be at Hilarities in Cleveland. And then hopefully Skankfest. I hope it doesn't get canceled. I'd be fucking That'd bummed. Suck. They won't cancel it. Those dirty bastards, dude. Yeah, they, they are fucking gross. I might cancel <laughs> it because that's definitely <laughs> cronies, dude. Uh, but no, it wouldn't be up to them. I think it would be like the city. True. Yeah, like you guys can't do this, which they probably they probably are itching to get rid of it anyway. Yeah, bunch of all, look, and it doesn't need to be that way. It doesn't need to be undesirable. But fucking Lewis's marketing is like, this is gonna be extreme. <laughs> it's like, dude, it's stand up. <laughs> yeah, man, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, Church of Sacred Dogology, the live show. I'm, I'm gonna book that for early May. Start setting that up. Yeah, let me know. I'll let you know. I'll try to do it during the week. Wow. Yeah, lots coming up. Lots coming up, bro. Live shows, video. Damn. Shane going to the party, dude. Shane going to the party. Possibly is. waking up publicly disgraced the next day, dude. I Keep could be tight, disgraced bro. again. Don't get Cosby down there. Keep it tight. Don't get Cosby? Yeah. I mean, like, get intoxicated to the point where yeah. somebody sodomizes you. If one, of, if the, got strap if one attacked, of the players. No, we've got strap attacked. I'd Co- have to allow it. True. With those beautiful angels. True. I'd wake up like, ah. I, uh,. I don't know how it's gonna go. I this weekend I kept it. It'll be cool. Kept it easy. Be played chilling. it cool. Hopefully I can play it cool again. It'll be chilling. But I don't. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Prepare I yourself. I, I think a couple Bud Lights are gonna start flowing. Be some Bud Lights. Be some Coke. Be some X. This is, it, there could be some, some of those Molly, types of Coke. things. I don't, dude. My fat heart. I don't know if it can take I, it. I would advise against it altogether. <laughs> what? Drugs? Coke for drugs sure. Rules, dude. Don't fucking bother me. Coke is the sucker Coke drug. Coke is pointless. Sucker drug. Coke is Coke is gay. Sucker drug. But that's fucking chem sex stuff. You get some hot baby girls. True. Some bikinis. No blue shoes. What do you mean no blue you shoes? Bring some blueies. I might need to. <laughs> dude. <laughs> no, I don't have any blue shoes. I never have blueies. Got you. I had one in the last like year. <laughs> dude. I got a hold of one and used it right away. I used to want to do a sketch that was a. Intervention for a Bluetooth thing, like a Viagra <laughs> thing. And it's just a guy like, "Are you? Fu- you're fucking hard right now, yeah, aren't you?" Told you? Me that. The this is great. Like, Somebody at the dinner up? table. Yeah, he's like, "Your heart is a rock right now, aren't <laughs> yeah, you?" I can see it. Your heart is shit. Stand up. Let me see. I'm not fucking hard, Dad. I'm not standing up. <laughs> the dad's hard. God damn, the <laughs> dad's idea. also hard. The idea stands up, dude. <laughs> yeah, we should do that. That's That'd a be good hilarious. Sketch. Um, but yeah, party. I'm I'm already nervous for it. I uh, yeah, that's that's a nervous party. I'm gonna I'm gonna be embarrassed to be there. We got to get over that. Possibly rightfully so, but I can't, got to say yes to this Just party. dude, just go and just bless it. Just go, guys, I'm just popping in. Just the whole I time. I'm staying in their house. What? Yeah. Okay, that changes things. Yeah. So you're going in there with like a duffel bag. <laughs> <laughs> you're going with like a dad gym bag, like a Puma YMCA gym bag, dude. You're going with a gym bag. Like, hey, kids. What's going on? Gym bag and a backwards hat. Like, hey, what's up, guys? Has anybody got any video games? <laughs> We should play like we should set up like a FIFA tournament, like all the dudes in the house. <laughs> Dude, shut the fuck up. You guys got like hoverboards? <laughs> oh man, it sucks. I think I'm gonna just get a hotel because uh, I can't. The whole you thing can't, is, dude. I can't. You can't stay in the rumpus house. Crash, dude. You can't crash at the frat house. I mean, you can, but it's just bringing in a duffel bag. It's a funny. <laughs> oh fuck, dude! There's I'm gonna have pool. like a rolly suitcase. <laughs> In a fucking tracksuit. <laughs> oh, where's my room? <laughs> You'll be like on the fucking couch. Dude. I don't even want to do this. You have to go. I don't want to do this. Get a hotel and just be like, I'm this guy. So I just want to pop and say hi. And then let them keep you there. And then have. They were adamant about me coming. Oh, they do it. I think they're going to pants me and push me down. <laughs> I think they're going to cow tip me, they dude. I think someone's going to get behind me. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna pants me and push me over, and all the beautiful baby girls on spring break are gonna just point and laugh at my fat <laughs> penis, dude. My penis and my bushel of pubes, dude. I have so many pubes right now. 
I'm so I do. I gotta tri- I gotta trim my pubes, dude, you just waxed. in case I get you pants. Get fully waxed, dude. <laughs> that would be worse, dude. If I was fully waxed, <laughs> my penis was flopping around. You hit it with the glow worm, <laughs> dude. If I get if I get hazed by a fucking football team, I'll report them, dude. Oh, you better. I'm gonna report them to the NCAA. <laughs> I will report them to the NCAA. Uh, oh, my God. Dude, if you get pants, you If I get pants, I'm reporting to the NCAA. There's a penis on pubes, dude. The penis on pubes, dude. The old bird's nest, the egg in the, the, egg in the nest, dude. This is the most embarrassing teens. Imagine, dude. You'd have, to, you'd, have to, you'd have to stick around like the Jussie Smollett thing. You'd have to, you'd have to keep your pants down. So you'd have to keep it out for the cops. <laughs> You have to see the penis on pubes, dude. Oh, my God, dude. They're like, I don't know. He showed up. He was showing penis on pubes. You think he would have, like, pulled his pants up or something? That's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. I can't. I don't think I should do it. You'd be like, I'm uh, like, cancel my dude, flight, You got to go. Dude. You got to go. You got to go. I can't go. <laughs> For, dude, imagine. <laughs> the imagine. Hold on. Imagine <laughs> trying to talk to a college chick, dude. It's going to be weird. Yeah. That whole thing is... I don't think... I, I shouldn't talk to any of the girls. I should just stick with the fucking sick-ass Ignore bros. all the girls. Have to ignore the girls. You have to. I got a good feeling they're going to be ignoring me pretty hard. I they're going to say, who the fuck is that guy? I don't know, dude. They might be like, damn, dude, fucking famous racist comedian. <laughs> Who's that, that fucking racist? <laughs> That's not how fucking sucks anyway. <laughs> they're going to be like, fucking... And they're going to say oh. mean things. Well, they're... Yeah. No, they're those babes, first of all, they're not going to ignore you, bro. I think they are. There's going to be some eyebrows lifting around. They're going to say, who's this like balding fat guy that's hanging out with us? <laughs> Why is he here? No way, dude. You got to act the whole time. You got to show up a little late and then act the whole time. I'm like you're trying 10 to 10 a.m., bro. <laughs> My flight gets in at 10 a.m., I made such a mistake. You're going to get there like before they even get the keys to the rental house. <laughs> I'll just be there early making phone calls. They're not answering. I'm like, I'm here, guys. I'm out front. <laughs> It's not a good start, guys. <laughs> guys, I'm going to level with you. This stinks. Don't worry. I bought some fucking white claws. I know you guys like that. You guys want me to order pizza? Anybody want pizza? Papa John's? <laughs> Should I order Papa John's to the kid party? Dude, I can't go to this. You, you know I can't go to you this. Have to, you just want me to go because of how fucking embarrassing this is. I don't think it'll be embarrassing. That, of course that's embarrassing. No, it's not. You have to I'm go. embarrassed now. I'm mad that I bought a fucking track dance. <laughs> You have to go. Who do I think I am, dude, dude? You have to tell us so we can jerk off to it. All you got, you should tell them. Like, I'm I know. Just, I'm just gonna like paint a mental picture for it, so all the dogs can catch a nice. The dog. This is for the dogs. You, yeah, you have to say yes to this as a man. You gotta do. But boy, this is tough. It's funny. This is tough to do. It's so funny, dude. So you should bring a laser pointer. <laughs> <laughs> Should I bring like a dude? Should I bring like one of those like uh, like fog machines and like lasers to put in the living room? And be like, figure we'd have a fucking dance party or something. If you get bored, you should just like hit a laser pointer on the wall. Of it. <laughs> Caught this down at the boardwalk, dude. This thing's fucking sick. Watch out, it'll blind you. Shine it never. This is illegal. Time. This is illegal. <laughs> You should be a bunch of like lightly illegal stuff, dude. Just fucking switch players. Hold on, real quick. Let me show you the slideshow, dude. Oh my god. This is just. Oh fuck. This is the, this is the apartment. Holy shit, dude! You gotta get down there, Bro. man. You gotta get down. I. It's. I mean, that's pussy headquarters, dude. <laughs> it's. It's. I shouldn't be near it. You gotta get in there. I, I'm one of the least people that should. I should not be near pussy headquarters. True. I don't belong there. Well, you should ID I'm a them. creep, dude. You should ID him. Should I, should I work the aux? You should. Be like, yo, you guys want to hear some music? You should. You should Put just, on Daft Punk. Just take over the YouTube and just make them watch fucking memes. True. True. You could, you could definitely. I could win them over with my memes. You should just memes. DJ the party. It's not a bad idea. Like, I'll guess DJ. That way you're like, you know. Bring yeah. Some, bring some Beats headphones. This makes plug no, them into your phone. Dude, I think I'm getting pants. <laughs> it makes no sense for them to be inviting me, dude. And I'm going to keep my pubes don't, long. Don't. <laughs> you should comb them. So I fucking <laughs> have them gelled. Be like, ah, I got you, dude. I knew you guys were bringing me down to pants me. That'd be funny. If you thought that, then you actually got pussies. <laughs> you see, it's like a butt cut pubes. And you're like, I thought I was going to get pants. 
<laughs> I thought the guys were bringing me down to bully me, dude. The guys are so cool. <laughs> the guys are so fucking cool. You're so pretty. <laughs> That'll be so funny, man. It'll be so fun to go down there. <laughs> it's giving me tons of anger. The wheelie bag. <laughs> the wheelie fucking suitcase into this place. They're like, what's up, guys? Hi. Uh, and they're, uh, people get are, a hotel. They're not going to know who the fuck I am. They're literally going to be sitting there like, no. why would that guy be here? They're gonna, while you're there. People are going to be mad at the guys who invited me. No way. They're going to say, why the fuck would they bring while this you're weird there, dude here? They're going to turn on the podcast while you're there. <laughs> it's gonna be just us denying Sandy. <laughs> like this shit slaps, bro. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, get a hotel and just go there and just be like, I got it, guys. I got it. And I have them, to. I have to get a hotel. Let them twist it. Yeah, def- I mean, you could in theory go chill there. I could see how that would feel a little weird. I don't like being like a guest where I don't know people. I'd feel real weird, especially a guest at a fucking college party. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Get a hotel and pop by, dude. That way you can pop by and be like, I just want to say hi, and then let them be like, Come on, stay, and be like. Ah. For a little, and let the night takes you where it, wherever it takes you. That'd be f- sweet if you fucked one of the football players. <laughs> <laughs> if I filmed it, oh, that'd be hot. I'm gonna fucking dude. I'm gonna dox the fuck out of these kids. Yeah, I'm gonna film everything. You should record. I, I mean, every- I keep saying dox in the wrong. It's you should uh, hot I'm mic. not using it correctly. You should hot mic everything and expose. I, that's them. what I mean. You should expose them all. I'm gonna ruin this football program. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be the that'd be the ultimate thing to do for Notre Dame. They're the Hurricanes, right? Don't we're not naming the team. Oh, excuse me. There's a couple of different Boise's, Boise State. You think it's Boise State? You think I'm going down with the Broncos? <laughs> yeah, Broncos dude. spring break <laughs> yeah, yeah. on the blue turf. Should I dye my pubes? The uh-huh. school colors. Oh, because it's spring break. So it's, I was thinking it was necessarily the team in that. It's not. I got. It you. could be any team. Gotcha. It's a team on spring break, no doubt. Well, you could always catch. The I know fills. there's going to be kids that graduated there. Sure. That's who I'm friends with. Sure. Oh, okay. So, so I'm right. not going to be the – I'm going to be significantly the oldest dude there. Sure. <sighs> well, you could age appropriate go to Clearwater, bro. I should pull just your go, pants I up. I should go – Pull your pants put up. Put some khakis on and a Phillies coach's polo and <laughs> watch some fucking spring training. <laughs> watch people throw a ball around. I'll never watch forgive it. Watch baseball dude, practice. If I turn down a fucking – if I turn down this party, I, I, would, I don't think I could forgive myself. You can't. The turd wouldn't – what would the turd say to do? The turd would be already in Miami right now. True, scary. true, true, true. I almost – he was begging to get on. He true. was asking me to come. Oh, for sure. He was like, wait, when are you going to Florida? Oh, man. That's turd heaven. Damn, the turd is salivating for pussy, bro. I mean – who isn't, but. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this isn't about the sniz, dude. This is nah, about. It's about football. This is only about my love of football. I'm Thank just going to ask you. I'm going to be popping so many cues about. Bring a ball. True. That would be tough. Start running routes on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> fall. Shit, my bad. Dude, that'd be sick if I fell and my penis fell out again. Oh, fuck. My penis yeah. falls out the whole time. After, after, after you got paced, pants. Uh, all right, your base calling? Yeah. Let's wrap it, dude. Let's wrap it, bro. Hopefully, I actually am mature enough to not go to this party, but... You gotta go. All right. Let's do it, bro. I love you. I love care you, about bro. you. Love this could you be the so last much. cast if I die at the cool kids party. Nah, you'll just get pantsed. <laughs> you get fucking fall off a balcony. If I get pants, I'm jumping off the balcony. Have a great time. Straight off the balcony. <laughs> if I get pants in front of the baby girls, I'm just Superman and off the balcony. Dude. Don't wear snap button pants. They can snatch your pants. They can rip your pants off. <laughs> Dude, we're at a nightclub and they rip my pants off. <laughs> no one's taking your pants, dude. The only thing I'm afraid of is hot college jocks ripping my pants <laughs> off, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, oh fuck. All right. Let's rip it, dude. Who knows? Oh, fuck. God bless. God bless you all. <laughs>